All right, thank you for volunteering. So, I think, without further ado, uh, let's get ourselves into Charlie Foxtrot. Um, I have... There are a, few, are a few videos out of the exact setting and kind of lore of what's going on here, but I'll give you a very brief rundown for people who don't know. We are currently orbiting the planet Gorlok in a far off, far flung sector where a large, well, a forming orc warg is uh, is advancing through. A small splinter fleet of orcs have headed towards um the planet gorlock they have crash landed a couple of months ago and the imperial guard have portioned off some of their fleet some of their regiments to um deal with this situation to retake gorlock because it's reasonably uh, strategically important to them um all of our squad today is from one of the five regiments they happen to be from the imperial the Imperial Line Regiment with a number which Sheepdog can never remember. 2815186, sir. Yes. Thank you, Guardsmen. Uh, they are part of a they are they are part of a um plan, which if you've seen the War Room video, you will know a bit about. Uh to invade and split the orc forces. Um they are part of the initial landing and therefore they will be forming a beachhead. And pushing out so that the tanks can start landing, uh, the they can start doing bombing runs and interdiction and all this type of thing. Um, so the initial landing uh, for these guys will be mostly infantry. There may be a few artillery if they can fit it in, but um, the the area that they're landing in is kind of a hill, a range of hills around the area with a bit of flat land in front of it and they're landing in a large crater which has been part of the yeah so um and for anyone who doesn't know as well they're fighting orcs so it's gonna be uh melee and shooting and craziness uh once we get going but uh we are going to start on the cruiser vindictus because Sheepdog doesn't have time to come up with names. Um, the Cruiser of Indictus is carrying the entirety or the majority of the uh, Imperial Line Regiment. And you guys are all billeted in fairly cramped conditions. Probably even slightly split up just because of the, the time frame they had. It wasn't enough to get properly organised. So you're, you're probably in rooms you know, next to each other, just down the hall kind of thing, uh, hooked up with random people. And things are starting to get... Things are starting to get... Uh, excited? To, tense? To, yeah, starting to get tense. Like, you, you can see the preparations beginning. You haven't been given your orders yet. You don't know which regiments are going down. You don't know uh, any of the kind of general battle plan or anything like that but it does seem like at least your regiment is preparing for something so uh yeah let's let's come in on on you guys in your separate bunks i am i imagine there's like i'm not gonna say like a war room but like uh because you guys are a combat squad and specifically a couple of you are veterans um you probably have a equivalent of a break room where you can all coalesce into and, and discuss things there's most likely a couple of sergeants a couple of corporals kicking about in there but mostly it's empty everyone's uh <clears throat> off in their own little world right now right, i'm wondering um... how does the standard work because presumably i don't just have that on me all the time do i no. pick that up before we land you you, you earlier in the shower <laughs> I mean, like, so... I just had a vision of like me like sh shuffling through these cramped corridors with it like sideways. Like, oh, excuse <laughs> me, just gotta, gotta get some. I'm no, assuming it's in equipment storage with like yeah. Gun that. So yeah, you'll probably be issued like, it. in the center of the billets or something. So, um, Captain Ravensburg has his own quarters, obviously, because he's the captain. 
Um, he has a foot locker, which has his equipment. The rest of you do not have your equipment currently. You'll be given that once the order to move is gone. So you have your uniform. Uh, you have a dress uniform and a battle uniform. Uh, the battle uniform is the one that you see in the card in the art for the regiment. Kind of like reds and purples and the cap and everything. Um, really stealthy. Yeah, the, the, the dress uniform is basically the same, but you don't get blood on it, so... Hopefully. It's meant to be tidy. So it's also red and... Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, uh, the... If any of you would like to start off, feel free, but um, the, the... Let's call it the rec room. The rec room is open if you want to gather in there to discuss things. Yeah. Uh, so Fred is totally just in there reading a medical textbook. I'm just sat in a chair, like, sipping some, probably not uh, whatever they ha they have for coffee here, and... Uh, uh, recaf. Just looking fidgety. Yeah. S sir, can you check us over a cup of recaf, please, sir? Uh, I, I will go grab some more. <gasps> thank you. It's ever so nice of you, sir. And here you go. Oh, thanks. I checked the time. You're right there? I just want to want to make sure I'm ready. Well, we haven't even. Soon. I, we, we haven't looked. We haven't had the orders yet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is going to be just fine. But we're here, though. I saw they opened the the, the shutters. Uh huh. There's, the planet's there. Yeah. Any time. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you, you need to relax, mate. Do, do you want? I could I could probably relax you. Do you wanna, do you, I got, I I'm, I'm, I'm okay, so like, save that for the, no, for the, I, for the I, pipe. I'm just, yeah, uh, uh, at which point I bust in and I'm like, Jesus Christ, have you seen the footage? Oh my God, it's going to be a fucking bloodbath down there. Can't wait. Uh, uh, right just a what a little, funny colour. Just a little note for everyone. Uh, if you have your uh, sound on on your browser, uh, the music's coming on because Sheepdog forgot to do that too. So, <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the Emperor. Oh, well, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm sure everything is going to be just fine. I mean, it's only a couple of orcs, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those well, green like... skins, like, yeah. you can taste the Emperor's justice and it'll be fine. And, you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, most of them. What do you mean, most of them? Well, I mean... In the process of Empress justifying everyone, yeah, there's got to be like a few that get a bit too close. And oh yeah, like, yeah, right. But that's and what we you see how tall it. they are. No. I oh, mean, either. I want to know. I heard they're quite big, and green, and and shouty. Hmm. Mm. Like you. Uh, what? I'm not big. You call them big. I'm a bit. I'm not big. Anyway, don't worry, it'll be fine. It, it, it's going to be great. I, I have full confidence that we will do absolutely fine. And look, I'm here to keep you guys alive, so don't worry about it, all right? Everything's going to be just great. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, careful scratching your ear there. Oh, it's, look, it's fine. It's fine. I, I got... It's actually really good for getting the wax out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just look, it's like a little coring thing. You're just like... <laughs> Out, yeah. Nice. It's just to clog things a bit, but it's, it's fine. At which point, mm. Captain Ravensburg walks in. Oh, sir! <clears throat> sir. Uh, he's about like five foot seven, so he's a little bit shorter, but he's quite wide. Uh, he's heavily scarred, like you can see scars all along his face. He's got a cyber eye. One of his arms is cybernetic, and his leg as well, all down one side. And he's got uh, a bit of a, a bit of a slow movement on the cyber arm, but it moves with like a lot of weight every time it moves. He also has a very small, let's say just above his heart, uh, he has a very small uh, badge. As does um, sorry, I need to get Clement. Names up. As does Clement. They both have very small badges over Flemond. their heart. Flemont, sorry. <laughs> uh, they both have small badges over their heart that is a small symbol of an anvil. 
Yep, you can also see it if you get close enough on his cyber eye, there's a small anvil just around the pupil. Uh, it's something that you notice in occasional uh, troopers, soldiers, captains, sergeants in the regiment. No one talks about it, but it is something that everyone knows about. Right then, you are a bull lot. What are you doing today? Uh, sir, sir, we are preparing for in, uh, to get orders to engage the enemy, sir. Ow. Mm, Are you okay there, guardsman? Oh, yeah, yes, sir, 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 just a bit of an headache, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. I'm sure I'm just, uh, my blood rush is just really high because I'm excited about seeing the enemy, sir. Well said. I heard uh, talk about orcs. I hope you're all looking forward to kicking those green skins. Absolutely, sir. Can't wait, yes. sir. Mm, yes. We'll, we'll cook them up right nice, sir. Yeah, give them give give a good walk for. I'll show them the wrong end of my needle, sir. Green skins, think, potato skins, they're all delicious and uh, uh, easy. Did you skip to... lunch again? Uh, what? Did you skip lunch again? I never skip lunch. What? Really? Because, like, you should go enough seconds that you know what you like when you're hungry. Mm. I won't catch you eating those green skins there, Sergeant. Uh, not Sergeant. Trooper. I think at this point, Sergeant Grunger will walk in. Mm. He's also got a little anvil badge on him. He does. Yeah. Men? Sergeant? Sergeant? Sir. Sir. <laughs> so, are we all ready? Yes, sir. Sir, sir, yes, sir, sir. I know something Excellent. to say, by the way. Uh, when Sergeant Greninger salutes, I salute him back, even though he's not an officer. All right. <clears throat> yes, uh, <clears throat> sir. Uh, how do we? Uh, I actually had a, uh, a question, sir. How do we feel about combat stims, sir? Combat stims. C com combat stims, sir. Yeah. Probably best to keep a fresh mind. Oh, I'm, right. I'm sure you've all read the uh, the guardsman's primer on our foe, the orcs. Uh. You've got your uplifting primer on you, haven't you? If you view the toilet paper, the commissariat will have you shot. Uh, I think I've so not, not, sir. Uh, through the pages and show they're all there. Oh, no, it, here it is. It's in the back. It's in the back, sir. Yep, yep. No, no oh, worries. They're all good. Um, yeah. And I flipped to the orc section again. Yeah, here we go. Um, orcs. They're Sorry, all green was... and hairy and not to worry about them. So. Yes. The book might tell you not to worry about them, but the book is wrong. Always have a healthy respect for your enemy, lest you end up getting murdered by them. I mean, uh, awareness and, and respect, surely, sir, are two different things. I mean, you can't respect an orc, sir. They're like filthy green Of course not. That would be heresy. Monsters. Yeah, yeah, right? So, so I'm just... But just... you have to respect his ability to tear your head off if he desires. I mean, I, you can fear it, sir. I don't know about respect again. I, I don't think I could bring myself to respect an orc, sir. I only have respect for the emperor and my superiors, sir. And, of course, my old bum, sir. Marvelous. I respect her mum as well. You leave my mum out of this. It's her choice. Right, anyway. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Imperial Primer How gives... you know my mum? <laughs> the Imperial Primer gives you some details about the Orcs. Uh, as... Outside of your characters, uh, orcs are misrepresented horribly in this primer. Um, they're described as stupid, which is true, but also not particularly a threat, which is untrue. <laughs> orcs are much more dangerous than they're represented. So you, you, it's you, a description you... of the war boss. Yeah, the war boss is always the biggest and toughest orc in the band. It keeps all the others in line by virtue of its dominant size and strength. Because of its size, it will present an easy target. A shot to the face will drop the alien scum like a sack of sand. Mm. So it's it's it, yeah it's it's there's a mix of half truths and a few lies sprinkled in there. But uh, so you probably have a slightly skewed opinion of the orcs uh, to a certain extent. None of you have fought, fought orcs before. The uh, Imperial Line Regiment hasn't engaged with them before. Um, the Imperial Line Regiment also has been raised for about six months. So, you do have some veterans who have seen combat, uh, as, you know, you can I tell. saw combat! It was over there! Yeah. 
but I imagine at least a couple of you, maybe without the anvils on your on your chests, uh, will not have seen combat at all. Fresh out of medical school, sir. Yeah. They taught me what a rocket launcher does, sir. Launches yes. rockets. Um, and I think at this point, a trooper walks in. And I would like everyone to roll awareness. Uh, uh, okay, do we just press the button? Uh, yes. Yes, cool. So, no. let's have a look here. Uh, <laughs> Success! We have a few... Uh, yes, we have... Uh, a, Damn! A very bad failure for Frederica. Wow. Um, I've got a book, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so, we have a... Success from Genrin, and we have a success from. Uh, I need the character names up. Oh, wait, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we should we should change our character, character name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've changed mine already. Uh, from from I changed mine already. Uh, so, wow, you got you got a couple of successes. So, for both of you, I'm going to let you know this is an officer. This is a high-ranking officer, oh. and he's just so wandered in, just nods. Troopers. Sir. 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 Um, let's see if there's anything else you guys can roll to figure this out. Imperial Guard? Um, yeah, what rank is this guy? If you have this. We could probably figure that out. Mm, I think I will say roll a straight up intelligence or perception on this one. Oh, can I roll that? Yes. I've got perception. <laughs> Uh, oh, so... God. Yes! Boom! Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> I got a Brady success. Bunch. Uh, given all of your successes, like, some are very close to being failures, but all of your successes, aside <laughs> from Bastor, who I guess is distracted by the coming, coming war, maybe, um, this is your day. commander. What's his name and rank? Uh, this is commander, um... Guy Smith? Guy Smith. Okay. Oh, that's why I don't notice him. That explains everything. Mm. Gentlemen. Commander Smith! Oh! Commander? Commander Smith! Uh, sir. Greetings. Please. Stand as tall as possible. At ease. Calm down. And he just, like, wanders over to a seat and sits in it, and... Every, every, every now and then you kind of forget he's there. So, <laughs> like, he, he's he's there. You know, you know he's there. But you'll just... Every now and then you'll look at the you'll look at the like chair that he sat in and it's just a chair. Well, I have special orders for you. Please uh gather round, gather round. Oh, right, right, sir. Sir, <clears throat> sir, sir. I'll shuffle about and not get much done, but eventually get over to the table. Are you looking incredibly, incredibly tense and nervous, by the way? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bentham, can you change your name? I could just quietly again? give him some sort of sedative. <laughs> just like, settle down. <laughs> um, would you like to do this without his? Oh yeah. Sleight of hand <laughs> then. Uh, sleight of hand. Um... It's down the bottom of the skill list. I'm sure this would be fine. Sure. I don't know. It's a fail that. So um. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to figure out. Corporal Carter, still. stop dawdling at the back there. Uh, Carter, there we go. So yeah, Carter, you um, you see, uh, Frederica, like, just her this huge dripping needle like going straight for your <laughs> neck really slowly. Oh no no, I'll go for the butt. It's an <laughs> he's, he's, sit he's sitting down. You can't go for the butt. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you. Were... Which one you were still sort of. You like... don't know how big his butt is. <laughs> no, it's not that big. Or the arm. I'm not okay. Fine. I'm going for the neck. Just... Yeah, Ooh. just just going for your neck slowly. I'm just going. Like, ah, yes, 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 oh. sir, sorry, sir. Everything's fine, sir. Right. Take a deep breath. It's all right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I, Everything I mean... is going to be okay. Can I try and cheer him up and calm him down a bit then? I just like, like retreat hey, into fine. my uniform. It's um, fine, mate. Don't worry. Sure. Give me a charm. Uh, ch 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 charm, charm. Nope. It's fine. Don't worry. It's gonna be great. 
and you've still got like this needle like almost <laughs> in his eye as you're like it's I'm fine probably, calm down i'm probably patting him on the shoulder with the bit you know with yeah the yeah and it's like just kind of knocking oh, against his head I'm, is everything's, I'm fine, I'm fine. Corporal yeah, Guardsman, do not keep the commando waiting! Sir, yes sir, sir, sir. Yes, sir, ready, ready when you are, sir, sir. Really, it's it's fine, there's, there's no rush, it's, uh, when, whenever you, you chaps are ready. We're ready, sir. All right. Totally ready. Ready as we'll ever be, sir. So, you may have noticed that I have, well, that the regiment is preparing to move. We yes, will, sir. in fact, be landing, and uh, we'll be part of the we'll be part of the first invasion force. We will be forming a beachhead in almost no time. Uh, in fact, the the preparation should start any moment now. But um, seeing as your squad is a combat squad specifically and has one of the more important standards of the regiment i thought i'd come and give you a special mission if you're willing i'm all here sir always willing to do the emperor's work sir absolutely sir. I can't wait sir good well said squad you didn't actually have a choice sorry good sir good sir choices are for heretics sir you will be landing in the first wave. I want you to do your best to survive. And I want you to carry the standard up to the tallest point in the area and plant it. We're doing a morale mission then, sir. This is to be a symbol of the regiment's accomplishment and resolve. We can do that, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Sounds like a great mission, sir. I cannot wait. I am hyped as anything, sir. A squad can make it happen, sir. Wonderful. I foresee some light resistance at the very least on landing, so keep your heads down, keep moving. I'm sure you'll be fine. The Emperor will protect us, sir. Good. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Oh, sir, I forgot you were here, sir. Sir, sir. Yeah. sir. Yes. He, he, he's not there anymore. He's just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> sir? Who was that? Don't know. Some toff or something. I don't know. I don't know, but I've heard that we are going to deploy relatively soon, so if you can make yourselves ready. Ready as? Re ready, ready, sir, ready. Everything appears to be uh, in working order, sir. Yep, everything. Ready to go, sir, ready to go. Of course, yes, of course, sir. God, that's bright. Guardsman, settle your depths, get to the armory, get your gear, make sure you're ready to do the Emperor's bidding. Well said, Sergeant. Bottle bass! Here you go, sir. I owe you this. I'm just going to chuck Thank you. Thank you. Right. As you hear that, uh, as you guys say this and the commander that has disappeared, uh, an alarm starts sounding resounding all over the ship and you start hearing like footsteps you know people jumping out of bunks uh people start like running up and down the corridors like this is time to invade you know what that sound means <sighs> it means it's time for sergeant grunt to kick your horrible asses sergeant grunt if you please can't wait sergeant. all right then you sorry lot get your butts moving you have your orders meet at the assembly deck in 30 minutes sir is this time to assemble snacks sir if you get a bloody move on, if you're late, I am not turning this carrier and this cruiser around. If you're late, I will make sure that my personal assortment of weapons visits you up the asshole, specialist. I'm, I'm you heard the captain. captain. Get a move on. I, Don't worry, I'm just, I am uh... a registered proctologist. And there's there are there are NCOs in the corridors to like guide you down to the. Um... To the bays where you'll be uh, launching off. Uh, is anyone taking a little extra time for anything? Um. <laughs> Athletics, please, Genrin. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
That is minus 0 0.3 levels of success. That is enough that you are only very slightly late. Is anyone? Is there <laughs> anything anyone would like to grab? Any, you know, are you heading back to your bunks or anything? I like grab that? my personal gear, but yeah, it, uh, yeah, some. Can I, I can I, can I, sort of go to the nearest infirmary and just like grab as much medical bullshit as I can? Combat stims. All you, of the combat stims. You you can go to the medical area. There are Medicaid in there. And if you try and you can try and steal something, or you can try oh. and request something. I'm gonna try and request something. Hello. Hello. Uh, we are going in the first wave, and we've got a really important mission, and we are probably gonna require a bit more in the way of combat stims than is regulation issue. I was wondering if you could help me out, sir. Um. Sir. Um. Oh. Um. Well, you, a special mission, you said. Oh yes, yes. We've got to take the standard to the highest. It's, it's important. Morale building mission, sir. Yes, well, I won't ask you what it is, but um, who issued it to you? Oh, it was, uh, oh, what's his name? That, you know, the one it really wrote unremarkable looking. Roll me uh, an intelligence to see if you can <laughs> remember him. Come on, don't fuck it up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Ooh. uh, Commander Smith. Oh, it's Commander Smith. That was it. That was it. There we go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Directly from the commander. Okay then. Exactly, yes. Exactly. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, just kind of bundles together a little bag of like just random assortment of stuff. Um, it's a goodie bag. Fantastic. Thank you very much. What I'm gonna say for this is during your time down there, say to me, Sheepy, I'd like this, and then you can roll on your. Uh, uh, I just need to see what skill it is. Bag. Quickly of Stuff. drugs uh yeah so you roll on your you roll on your fellowship and if it's a success you have it if it's not you don't nice so yeah uh, stims and combat drugs like that type of thing you will have um maybe score the good shit for us lads there we go uh how have you gonna have to roll an athletics test oh cool cool that's fine i'm good at athletics there is my athletics. This is this is fine. Um uh -huh. you you I think you and uh Genrin Bartlebass get stuck with each other you know, both turn <laughs> up and like coming from different sides <laughs> and you're both uh, you're both aware you're a little bit late, so you're trying to get through and you just get stuck in the doorway. Yeah, we, we swap some snacks for some drugs accidentally as we drop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. So the pack yes. is now mixed of sweets and drugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pack of drugs. Oh man. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. That's totally. Yeah. Okay. So now you've got some drugs, and I've got some sweets. <laughs> Gonna be great. <clears throat> right. Should we do what? Get out the. Get, look. 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 Fine. You go first. Go on. No. 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 After you, trooper. No. After you. After you. I insist. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. So she was late. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Captain Ravensburg, two of them were late. Terribly sorry, sir. I had to go to the uh, medical thing, sir. I'm requisitioning some very important supplies, sir, for the good of the entire squad, sir. What were you doing, Bartlebass? Preparing. And what exactly were you preparing, Bartlebass? My equipment, sir. I I'm just going to sort of, like, pull your jacket open slightly. <laughs> like, soy bars <laughs> fall out. <laughs> okay. So, two things. Firstly, since there are other ships nearby and stuff and there are people still running to them, are there people late to the other drop ships as well? Um, a couple, yeah. This It's it's quite hectic, so... And okay. it's quite... It, there wasn't much, you know... it. There's a few people, a few stragglers turning up. Um, it's the first invasion, it's the first engagement the regiment is having, so not everyone is full on with the discipline quite yet. Okay. Right now, he's got a power sword slung at his right hip, and his left hand is just a giant power fist with an anvil on the back mm. uh, over like his carapace armor. He looks both of you up and down, looks at the sweets, gets really close to both of you, but especially to uh, Specialist Genrin Bartlebass. Bartlebass. I'm just leaning away like... Uh... So this very important 
job you had to do, medic, and your very important personal supplies. Bit. supplies. Well, it's important enough to keep the Emperor and the entire invasion waiting. Uh, sir, no, sir. Sorry, sir. Won't happen again, sir. We'll try harder next time, sir. I have failed you, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Ow. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Won't, won't happen again, sir. I'm ter ter terribly sorry, sir. Sir, won't happen again, sir. I will. And you, specialist. Sorry, sir. I, uh, I promise it will never happen again. I will make sure I get my snacks in, in due time. Because you know those who are late. Trooper, over here, front and center. Ah! Yes, sir, sir, sir. Like a point, the, the, the latest tra trooper mm. through the door. The Imperial Guard does not like people being tardy, especially when it keeps the Emperor waiting for an Imperial invasion on one of his planets that's been in the hands of the enemy for too long already. Isn't that right, trooper? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I put my power fist on his shoulder and just pat him on the shoulder. And you know, we do not like people straggling behind and keeping us waiting at all. Do we, trooper? No, sir. Of course not, sir. I turn the power fist on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to require a roll for this. Um, do you just want to basically smash his head off? No, I just let the power field melt through the side of his face and then yeah. just turn it off again. So he, he like, there's not even enough time for him to scream. Like, the, the entire half of his head is, like, just evaporated. Part of his shoulders evaporated. And you just kind of see, like, this kind of slack look in his face. His jaw slackens very slightly. And then he just crumples to the floor. Uh, obviously, with some viscera and blood, like splattering over the place. I. Never mind. Right. <clears throat> yes. I. Uh... So yes, sir. I wasn't late, so. I'm and still the, there. The, the first... emperor appreciates your service. The first casualty of the war has been claimed. <laughs> now you two, are you going to keep the emperor waiting, or are you going to take no, your no, seat? Sir, go no, no, we have everything ready, sir. <laughs> so there is a um. There is a like a equipment deck where like bags are being passed out. Uh, what is in these bags is, and you you know like I'm, I'm going to say this for one of you. Uh, this is kind of standard equipment pack which you're going to have to take with you. It's uh, combat rations for two weeks, four charge packs, carapace armor, uh, or flak armor depending. Uh, one respirator, four empty sandbags, one entrenching to tool, two frag grenades, two crack grenades, one uniform. Once, uh, sorry, you've got your uniform. So, set of poor weather gear, knife, rucksack, uh, set of basic tools, mess kit, water canteen, blanket, sleeping bag, grooming kit, uh, cognomen tags, which are like dog tags, uh, and you have your primer um, instructional manual. Uh, also, um, so from here, Corporal Flemond Carter, Carter uh, you get given a las carbine and a chainsword. Okay, I just kind of bundle all these. Yep. It's uh, about as big as you. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, belt. I'm a belt. That's, yep, sling it on. This is, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, oh, and, then you, oh. and then you get pushed oh. on. Uh, next oh. up is Trooper Genrin Bottlebass. You come on, you get your bag, and then you receive a, uh, a, uh, a whole kind of box thing of rockets, uh, a heavy stubber, and a rocket launcher. I sling the rocket launcher. Yeah. Careful what you're doing with that now. Pick up the heavy stubber. And kind of like sling that on the other side. And then you've got like your, your crate as well. You may need help um, with the rocket launchers. You, you may need to like... I, I think you have like a sling bag as well for the rockets if you want. Um, yeah. So, but you'll, you'll need help Just with that. So everything. like, I think what probably happens is you kind of get shoved to the side and uh, any one of you can help him with his rockets, like, you know. I'm not helping him because he dobbed me in. Uh-huh. Um, next up is Sergeant Brastor Groninger. Uh, you get your bag, you receive an M36 Lasgon, standard issue. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Can I get some binoculars as well? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, next up, Frederica Bredal. You get your bag, you receive an M36 Lasgon, standard issue. Uh, and that is also pretty much it. However, you do have your... Uh, I can never remember what the hell that's called. It's like a stabby, medical... Stabby stabby make better. Medical stabby stabby make not better. Nocathium. Not, not... Yes, that thing. <laughs> I can never stabby say that Stabby make word. better. Uh, finally, 
Captain Julius Ravenberg, you receive your bag. You do, however, already have your um, power sword and uh, your power fist, I believe. So, <coughs> and yeah, uh, would anyone like to help Genrin Bothbass out with the rockets? Genrin's quite strong, so yeah. he's doing okay with like the actual weapons. Mm. The it's, extra... it's the crate of rockets. It's that's the crate of rockets that he's having trouble with. Like the the thing is, is you just saw someone killed for being late, <laughs> and you're like, I could, I could open up this crate and put them in the bag, but that's gonna make me late on the ship because people are starting to get. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna oh, I'm shit. just gonna barge straight past you, possibly yeah. trying to knock a rocket out of your hands. Uh, and 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 Fred, Fred, uh, Fred, Fred, give me a hand. Busy, can't sorry. No, no, anyway, no. Right just now. Leave the other end of this, please. Already gone. Trooper Bradel, yeah. since you and uh, Specialist Battle Bass were late, how about you help each other out? Oh yes, sir. Right, sir. For this yes. mission, you can be his loader. Um. I'm uh, not really trained for that, sir, but all, all right, that's fine. I'm sure uh, you'll pick it up there, Trooper. Yes, please pick it up. It's really heavy. All right, fine. Jeez. Oh, okay. So t between the both of you, you can pick up the crates and you can deal with it on the on the landing ship. Um, I get the standard. You are. You do also receive the standard, yes. Okay, there's just a, a moment when, like, he's handed it where he just looks up at, like, the golden eagles and stuff on it and all mm. the shit. It's just like, ah. Yeah. The room becomes somewhat brighter for no inexplicable reason. <laughs> this is this is a very impressive it. standard. Very well. excited. As it's got the uh, the double-headed imperial eagle at the top in gold and, and everything like that. I'm already like holding it up as we walk towards the ship. Dunk! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just mumbling like this is my chance. I could I could prove myself. I could do this. Uh, you do also have with you a few other members, uh, a couple of runners and a vo and a Vox communications officer, or um, NCO, basically, um, who are also with you. Uh, you probably haven't had time to even get to know their names. They were assigned to you in the last couple of days. So uh, just keep in mind they're with you. And yes, uh, everyone bundles onto the ship. Um, there is, I'd say probably like, nine other squads in this ship um they're they're reasonably large they've got transport ships and would you like to have a conversation on the way down because you're starting your descent down the ships are taking off you are in the first wave so you're one of the first ships to take to take off so uh anybody done a combat drop before oh Here's a question before you guys get into this. Where do you sit when you get uh, in? I probably end up sitting next to Bartle Bass. No, I, I mean your squad. There is, there is, because basically as, when it lands, the back is going to open up. You're going to pour out. Do you sit at the back, the middle, or the front? Uh, the... I will actually sit next to the partition into the pilot's cabin so okay. that if I need to talk to them over the radio, I can. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine like our command squad's going to be taking up like. The, the front of the plane, so it will be like the last ones out of this plane. The last ones out. That is perfectly balanced. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I was tempted to say I sit in the middle, but I was like, actually, I'd sit near the cockpit because yeah. I need to talk. Yeah. yeah. And the, yeah. the Vox officers, oh, with the, the Vox NCOs with you as well. So probably In our group, yeah. I'm on the edge closest to the middle of the carrier because I'm trying to hold the standard up in the middle of the carrier. It's probably like people like, just Oh, but it's probably like an angle because it's against the ceiling, but I'm like it still counts. Oh, you'd be that we guy who gets in it. first but sits right next to the opening. So as everyone else comes in, they're like, God damn! Yeah. <laughs> Just through the I'm, every I'm time. with the group, but I'm like holding it out over the middle of the of the pot. Yeah. I'm just like sat next to Bartle Bass, just giving him the odd like. I can't believe so it. it's very quiet to begin with. Like, all of the soldiers, um... They're all very... Oh, a rousing sing-song! For the Emperor! There once was a woman called Frederica. <laughs> whose ass was covered in paprika. Wait, who said that? <laughs> someone someone <laughs> shouted it out in just For down the, the line. For the Emperor! We believe in him! He's the best Emperor! And he's gonna kick Chaos's ass! Yay! Uh, roll Sounds me... Sounds better in Galactic. Um, roll me a charm. 
if you're, yeah, draw me a yeah. charm for this. Let's see how mm. you it, <laughs> get them in something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so as yes. you uh, as you carry on um, and this this oh so for everyone who can't see uh this is oh you rolled a ninety nine. Yep. <laughs> this huh? is a critical fail. Oh Just shit! Don't shoot. Oh. Um. A, a a dark and overbearing gloom settles in the ship. Do we all and boo her? No, not even. Just everyone is just like. And we're just really sad. It's just like that. You can almost feel like the cloud descend, and just everyone. So everyone starts thinking about the battle Dying. about the imminent death and I'm gonna just carefully run my power sword over my left arm a little bit as I just turn it onto like the lowest setting where you use it for training where it just like it blisters a little bit it hurts mm. a little bit and I, when we hit the atmosphere I'll start my speech before you do that I give you like a knowing look as I'm probably sitting like opposite to you and just like look over to the rest and like what do you reckon sir well, we've got a job to do, and in the Emperor's name, we will do it, but they are still green. Most of them haven't even seen their first balls drop. Marvelous. <laughs> um, so let's from, let's get from uh, Captain Ravensburg and uh, Bastor Grunginger. Uh, give me a either awareness or scrutiny. I think scrutiny is on on this one. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Scrutiny or, or or awareness. Either one. No. Oh no. I mean, oh god. Uh. You you roll you roll like it's I mean, own... we're both close. It's, yeah. it's it's not even one degree of success, uh, so I won't give you an exact number. There's, but you haven't seen many anvils. Like mm. the majority of troops here are anvil less, you might say. A lot of more fresh. Well, that's why we're here, Sergeant. Make sure they are led into the battle properly, and they can give their lives in the Emperor's name rather than fleeing like some cowards and giving their lives for nothing at all. Well said, sir. Would you like me to do the honors? If you would like to prep them ready for me, then, Sergeant, that would be much appreciated. Understood, sir. All right, you sorry lot. Listen up. We're going to be hitting the ground in a few minutes, and that means we're going to be landing in total chaos. Stick together with your man. Make sure you always watch each other's back. Covering fire when someone moves. All basic stuff that will keep your ass alive. The key here is not to give your life for the Emperor, but to make those green skins die for whatever deity they might have. Let's get a command roll. Ah! Wow. That's Jesus. Um, that's, that's a 100. That is, that's a critical fail. I was okay. hoping to get the bad rolls out of the way first, but I'm, no. I'm, um, I'm going to invoke one of your mental issues. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. Um <laughs> what are, what are what are the issues you have again? Um I've got voices and delusion. <laughs> <laughs> so take your pick. I think you start talking to these people as if they were your former comrades. The ones you saw die viciously hmm. and your speech starts off as inspiring and you know and like advice on how to, to survive on the battlefield and it slowly slips into charlie you died from a bolt a bolt round to the head your head your it exploded in my face your brains covered me don't do that again you know, you, and, and you just start going off on like all of these gruesome deaths, you know, mortar rounds and tanks rolling over people and all this stuff. And it 
exacerbates the problem that was already there, where everyone is just <laughs> the mood just dips. Uh, Boom! It's a one-two punch. <laughs> Captain Ravensburg, you see this happening, and you realize what's happening, so you can yeah, step in. I get up, and yeah. I'm just gonna slowly put my hand on his shoulder and pat him, and then just try and push him into his seat. I'm assuming not the uh, the power fist. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, I crush his skull. <laughs> no, no, not not to know a van anvil. No. I I think I think possibly, like. I'm going to allow you to cut him off before he does too much damage. Um, but you... You, like, sit down with your head in your hands. And you're, yeah. you're useless for a little bit. Uh, Captain Ravensburg, do you, would you would you like to salvage this horrific I start? I totally follow this. This okay. is going to be great. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Right then, you are a bull lot. We're dropping into some Emperor Forsaken planet that needs our help. Of course, our planet is perfect in every way, but this planet does not have that luxury. So we must save their asses from their fire. Are you going to save them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, yes, sir. There oh, is yes, sir. deathly silence. And <laughs> oh. Just, just, just for like a split second. Roll me a command. Okay. Uh, take a plus ten, just purely because of you know everything. Is it is it an intimidating command? Would you like to intimidate them, or would you like to? I was gonna follow it with more intimidating stuff. Uh, yeah, give me a straight up command then for uh, to start off. Okay. But On the plus like, side, and if it is the command is in an intimidating way because of my voice. Yeah. Oh uh, well, the the, <laughs> the this initial command will not be okay. intimidating. This is more inspiring and and that kind of thing. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! That's natural hundred. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh Out of respect for the fact that you, you two, two of you rolled critical failure one hundreds in a row, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Ravensburg, take a fate point. Holy shit! It is usable. <laughs> it is usable instantly if you would like to use it for a reroll. <laughs> three so people. Re <laughs> three people have attempted to motivate the people in this thing, and we've had three <laughs> critical failures. Let Let me tell you. You guys, to, to motivate people in the ship, you guys have rolled 99, 100, and 100. <laughs> Someone yep. is going to eat their pistol. Like... <laughs> you did the deathly silence. Bang. 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 Would you yeah. like to re-roll this? I'm tempted to re <laughs> You know what, I will. I will re-roll this. Okay. <laughs> You I was going to say something about how you again. can't roll worse than I did, but Jesus. <laughs> uh, Jesus, guys. <laughs> it's hard enough already. Jet says that the pilot just crashes the ship uh, into I the I failed point. by less than a degree. Uh, you, you failed by 0. 0.5, so uh. it's, it's not too bad. Um, you don't repair the damage. However, I will tell you that... If you hadn't have re-rolled, someone's gonna pull a pin on a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, right, I, I continue my intimidating style. So as as you start doing this speech, and I think this is part of the reason it doesn't work as well as you're hoping, the ship starts shaking and rumbling. You're entering the atmosphere. Okay. And you start sure. hearing like explosions outside and sure. You're awfully quiet, you lot! <clears throat> Today is not the day you die. Today is the day you make the enemy die. That is how you will achieve the Emperor's aims in this battlefield. Now, when you get to the ground, as Sergeant Grinninger says, you will leave the dropship and you will take on the enemy. When you leave the dropship, the dropship will leave without you. There will be no way off this planet except through the enemy. You have one simple choice. You can die! Or you can serve your emperor and kill those orcs in front of you. Which is it gonna be? Or do I need to step in and make sure the emperor sees you sooner rather than later? Orcs, sir. Good. Uh, yeah, orcs, or, or, sir. Yeah. Let's uh, oh, let's get a. You want to command intimidate here? There's definitely a commanding intimidate. Yeah, uh, I think there was enough intimidation there, like the implication of I'm gonna fuck you up if you don't charge. <laughs> yeah, uh, to work. Uh, so that's plus ten for my scary voice. Yes. 
Natural high. No, it's a pass. Okay. It's a pass. Woo! It's a 47. Yeah, you got 0. 0.4 degrees of success. I think you start getting the rumblings of like, yeah, yeah, so. And like, you start seeing people actually starting to load their las guns and like check their gear. Like, they're not enthusiastic. You guys fucked up way too hard for them to be enthusiastic. <laughs> but they're ready to fight. So, uh, and the ship is starting to shake harder now. It sounds like you're getting closer, and you can hear the sounds of um, of fighters kind of screaming past you. You can hear like the equivalent of like flat cannons, like AA uh, rounds, kind of exploding near. You probably hear. Let's just take a couple of uh, straight up rolls. Um, Um, you hear, you hear, like, one explosion really close by, and it's loud enough and extended enough to know that one of the dropships just exploded. And it kind of shakes the, I think maybe a couple of pieces of shrapnel, like, ding against the side of the, of the ship as well. Um, Orc weapons are of primitive construction, and they take a long time to reload. That unlucky sod who got hit means that you will not get hit, troopers! Oh, brilliant then, sir. That, that's great. Um, can't, can't can't wait, sir. Really looking forward to it. Great new, great news for us, sir. Yeah, R brilliant, so brilliant. Yeah. Leans forward. <laughs> Sergeant, are you feeling okay? I'm feeling a little bit better, sir. Do I need to get the medic to give you something? No, sir. It'll be fine. Ready and loaded, sir. Just say the word. Let's get a very quick estimation of how everyone's feeling. I imagine the people the least, aside from Captain Ravensburg, who's you know, he's he's a veteran and he hasn't come out with as bad mental trauma as some other people. In, in you know, it is bad, but it's different bad compared to... Yeah, different bad, definitely. So, uh, I imagine the fresh recruits without the anvil, you two probably are less affected than... Uh, Red is really fucking chirpy. Yeah. So she was like, uh, and she's like, no, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Pff, what's the worst that could happen? We'll all do, we'll all meet down the pub later, have a pint, and talk about it. Get mm. Genrin, how are you? Are you stress eating? He's not stress eating. No, he's just eating. Okay. <laughs> so you're not you're not too worried so far about. Are you no, paying I'm... attention to what you're eating? No. He's mostly watch, uh, like, stressing over the fact that he's going to have to lug around a bunch of very heavy weapons, but then he reminds himself he's a heavy weapons specialist. So um, he kind of just gets on with it and just stares at everyone else, looking gloomy. Yeah. Uh, how about Bastor and Flemond? How are you guys feeling? I think Bastor's finally like recomposing himself after hearing like the voices of his dead comrades for a yeah. bit. Now he's got his carapace helmet on, he's ready for action, he's starting to focus on trying to keep his squad alive for as long as possible to do as yeah. much good for the Emperor. It, it sounds like you're almost there, so you, you, you get your head back in the game with the threat of imminent fighting. Um, Fleming. I'm white knuckle gripping onto the, the standard, mm. just like the Emperor protects, the Emperor protects. This is my chance. This is my chance. I can show them I can do this. I can. I just gotta carry it. I just gotta some somewhere high. I just gotta carry it somewhere high, and, and then we win. And then we just win, and that's it. And then everything's better. Um, everything's okay again. So I just incidentally, I didn't give you a chance to tell this before, but I did give you the talent total recall, which lets you remember trivial trivial facts and minor details. So if oh, okay. you if you'd like to be repeating like the litanies and the imperial prayers and things like that as you're coming down, like you'd be oh, able yeah, to sure. remember all of those, like, even even the ones that everyone forgets and you know mouth along when when the chanting happens. Um, yep, I'm just mumbling litanies, random order. Okay, uh, the ones I like, my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the your favorite ones probably thou shalt not get shot. Um, it's, it's, it's a classic. Uh, so I'm just gonna roll a couple more dice. Yeah, Ravensburg will be saying like a couple of quiet prayers before he just 31. starts checking his equipment. Okay. Um, you... Uh, the 90 is like, oof. 
Um, the 31 isn't too bad. Uh, you get hailed on the Vox communications by the pilots up the front. Uh, Ravensburg. And they say, um, like, bef like you pick it up yeah. and instantly it's like, it's like, a couple of, a couple of dropships being hit, we're worried. Um, the landing area is a little bit smaller than we thought. Uh, sir, request permission to open the, the back gate. Sheepy doesn't know the word, so just pretend that he said it. The rear loading doors. The ramp. Yes, the ramp. Thank you, there you go. Uh, permission to open the ramp before we land, sir. Is there small arms fire being directed at us? Aye, sir. Then you do not open the ramp until you are settled, as per the Imperial Primer. Do I make myself clear? If I see that loading ramp open before we are settled, I will come in there and personally dismember your corpses. Aye, sir. Very well, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. And, uh, yeah, you you can now hear, like, clattering against against the ship, like, very clearly small arms fire. Um, a couple of people in the front, especially, are starting to look very, very nervous. But the, uh, the dropship finally clanks down the ramp starts to open and there's actually no fire so what's going to happen is the immediately as as the ramp opens uh the soldiers start pouring out and start opening up with las guns like kind of in front of them um yeah you guys are going to be the last out so what would you like to do I go charging out, and as soon as I'm beyond, like, the, the roof, I'd, like, raise up the standard. Yep, yep, okay. For the Emperor! For the Emperor! Oh, God, I've got to carry these fucking missiles right. Okay. There we go. Well, oh, uh, let's say that you've you've unpacked the missiles, because you've had enough time, and you've oh. got them in, like, a sling bag, but I think you're actually carrying the rockets, because you're the, you've been designated loader. Yeah, yeah. I've, so I've got the fucking rockets, and, you know, I'm just like, right, come on then, um, let's go. Sergeant, will you check if there's anyone left aboard the dropship before we go? I will do, sir. Yeah, if not... there's anyone being a coward, bring them out or chop them down. You know the drill. Understood, sir. I will go and check if there's anything left in the dropship. Yeah. I got it with the standard. You, you, you don't, you don't need a roll for this. So, uh, yeah, um, you'll be out maybe ten seconds after everyone else. Um, as you guys come out, you can see there's a lot of las burns on this like so where you are is in a crater a fairly large one um there's there's slopes going up uh in all directions around you there's enough space for probably five drop ships to drop so that give you a vague idea of it's pretty large aside from that you can't see anything uh up up the slope is a lot of las gun for, uh burn holes where imperial troopers have been you know just Enthusiastic and uh, and t taken some shots off before they realised that they were obviously uh, you know not actually firing at anything, <laughs> and everyone's milling about a little bit. Um, you are the first dropship to land. Other dropships are coming in, and I think as you get outside, you see another dropship starting to land, and the the ramp actually starts opening before it hits the ground and small arms fire just bursts inside you probably see a few of a few imperial troopers like falling out you know covered in like blood and guts and just like smacking against the floor oh can you do anything for him what's up sir sir uh permission to go and help out those troopers what have fallen out of the dropship sir no, that is their own bloody fault. We need to clear this drop zone so that other dropships can come in. We need to vacate this and attack the orcs as soon as possible. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, and sir, uh, dropship's clear, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Sergeant. So, so the sergeant's come out. Your dropship starts taking off. Uh, the other dropship, which is coming in, there's a, a couple more to the sides as well coming in. Uh, just lands on those troops. Ooh, that sounded really nasty, yeah. sir. There's, there's there, like there a, a crunch and a squish and... I feel like there was a moment where I'm holding the stand and I'm like, okay, somewhere high. And I look around and we're in a crater where I'm yeah. completely surrounded by... Like, eh, eh, eh. And then I just follow the rest of the group when they start moving. We get the rough direction of the high point on like one edge of it, don't we? Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, basically the the uh, orientation you guys have been dropped in is the or orientation you have to push out. 
Uh, behind okay. you in the other direction is a fair amount of flat land, a little bit of beach, and then just lake. So going that way is... is there's nowhere to go. All right, then. Ca uh, Trooper Bartlebass, take point. Um, yes, sir. Corporal Carter, fall in afterwards. We need that banner nice and high. Make everyone see the Emperor's light. I sir, doing so, sir. The, Trooper the... Braydal, you go next. Sir, yes, sir, sir. The other dropships I... start unloading troops. They go through similar um, patterns to what yours did, which is run out, start firing, realize that they're in a crater and there's actually no enemies in sight. And they start kind of looking around, trying to decide what to do next. Instantly, what all of the squads near you are doing as well. Okay. Well, while the sergeant looks after the plan and distribution of our squad, yeah. I'm going to focus on the actual company of troops. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have a look. There's obviously the the high point, which is is. It, do we know about like the big gun emplacement there? No. Okay. So the big <laughs> mountain thing. What which gun like... emplacement? <laughs> no, I have no idea. Uh, there's the big high point that we're like we're going to plant a flag up there, and then there's the crater. And I'm going to direct the company to engage directly towards the mountain and spread out and then try and have all the specialist weapons in the center of the line so that we can just punch through. And we're going to try and do it quickly before they can redistribute after the bombardment. All right. So I'm going to just start yelling orders over the Vox. Be like, company, move out! Sir, yes, sir! Or you'll be crushed by draw, uh, falling dropships from the sky. You have two choices, forwards or crushed. Up to you forward sir so currently there's some rattle of like small arms fire coming from a little further away uh you estimate you know kind of off maybe second or defensive line you know up in the hills and that kind of thing and it's all aimed at the at the drop ships coming in it's not doing much but because it's small arms fire but um they are orcs and they do have a tendency to get overexcited um as you say, like, start moving, start marching, roll me a command roll. No intimidation for this one, because technically right. speaking, you weren't intimidating. I'll have to be more intimidating. Uh, command... Boop. Minus 3.5. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what this is, is basically they take you at your words, which is start marching. They form up in lines and start marching up the hill. And upon upon like your your command squad is kind of you know getting prepped, getting ready. Uh, the other the other squads like line up in ranks. It's how they've been taught in you know basic training, and start marching up the hill. Um, the other uh, the other kind of five groups also do the same. Upon seeing this, they're like, ah oh, yes, show of force, wonderful. Uh, and they all start kind of marching up. Um, when the first troops, and it's the guys from your group, from your group of soldiers, because they're the first ones who did it, when they crest that hill, they get mowed down, like rattled with bullets and just destroyed. There's you can barely recognise a, a human being. Oh, the grand the, the, the second they crest that hill. Men. He marched them up and it, the hill, and they it, got mowed down again. Because you don't have any knowledge of orcs, you wouldn't know what type of gun it was, but what you can tell is it's fixed emplacement style uh, automatic weaponry. Yeah. And the, the troops just get, they, they kind of, they kind of all go flat and like start spreading out across the top of this ridge, but no one's going over it. And then I think okay. about then on your right is when an artillery shell hits and just explodes in the middle of a squad. Okay. Someone give me a range on those emplacements! Oh god, sir, this is all going to hell. They're not watching the damn spacing! Watch your spacing, everyone. Do not stand more than two meters from the trooper to your side. Do I make myself clear? And someone give me a damn range on those emplacements! Mortar crews, get ready! So uh, I think the the Mord crews are going to be pretty much at the base of this uh, of this um, 
of this crater before it starts to like properly slope up. It's going to be a little difficult for them because it is still a bit slopey. They don't want to get crushed by the ships coming in. Next set of Imperial dropships are coming in, by the way. You've got about a minute before they land. Um, and you need to clear the way. Um, and yeah, no one's popping their head up. You're going to have to give me a command roll, I think. Okay. The the other the other command the other like captains and lieutenants are doing similar things. Like people are spreading out. People are kind of like you know ducking just below the the cusp of the of the crater. In which case, if no one's moving, I'm like, if anyone is left behind this lip of this crater in say ten seconds, I will make sure they are personally executed by myself. Am I making myself clear? So Nine, eight. Seven. Yeah, no, uh, that that'll do it. You don't even need to roll on that one because that's that's, <laughs> that's pure commissar right there. Um, there. There's there's like as you get to seven, uh, I think the sergeants pull themselves together, a couple of the corporals maybe, and they start like you know kind of building their lads up and being like, all right, lads, time to go up and over, and they start like cheering and this kind of thing, and then they just. As one, your company at least, as one, they stand up and just charge over the top. And just a hail of fire starts coming over. Quite a lot of them, quite a few of them get hit, you know. There's bodies rolling down the bottom. You guys are still at the base by the mortars, by the way, just so you know. Um, Sergeant told me to take points, so I'm, you know, making my way up there. And... Okay, so you're heading, you're heading up there, okay? Yeah, I'm yeah. following him then. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I imagine I have our squad in like a V formation. Yeah. Yeah, if there wasn't that much time and the mortars were going to be where drop pods were coming in, I guess we would have just sent everyone up rather than keeping the mortars okay. too far back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, you guys kind of are just behind, let's say, the uh, the squads as they start pushing over the top. They, ch they, they scream, they stand up, they start like jumping, kind of, you know, running, properly running this time. Uh, over the lip of this crater. The incoming fire just starts hitting them. I imagine a cup. Everyone roll a d100. Oh, good. Oh. Uh, that rolled a five. Very nice, uh, Josh. Yay. <laughs> uh, Ca Captain Ravensburg, um, a trooper in, in front of you uh, who's been like, who's like a little bit further behind, the second he stands up, bullet just poof, straight through his head splatters your entire face with blood that's fine i've yeah. been here before he, yeah yeah <laughs> it's probably the best person to happen to like i'm not gonna ask i'm jaded so that doesn't actually bother him yeah it doesn't bother you too much uh aside from losing a important war resource in the form of a soldier um eh, it probably saved my face which is more important than his so yeah uh so as they go over a lot of incoming fire um, quite a few people go down. F Frederica, are you are you with the squad? Are you or are you looking to save lives right now? Um, I I will be like permission to save some lives, sir. The other, just for the record, the other medics and other squads are not doing anything. Yeah, I they're assume this is open ground here. Yeah. yeah, like the second you're over that lip, you know that it's open ground. In that Wait case, until gonna... you get to open, uh, not open ground, perhaps there, medic. So yes, sir. Just checking, sir. Anyone got any injuries who is on the other side of this, feel free to have a little bit of a look after them. So yes, sir. I'm gonna seeing everyone getting mowed down. I'm gonna be like, they need the standard, and I'm gonna go to the edge, to the lip of the crater, and like hold it over the over the top. Oh, okay, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, cool. No. The enemy won't be able to stand in the face of the emperor's light. A couple, a couple of whizzing bullets, like like flick the standard, but none like go through it or anything. No, Corporal Carter, it... make sure you don't get your head blown off before we complete our mission. Yes, sir. So you've probably had about fifteen seconds of of the squads uh, pushing up, and the rest of them have gone as well. You've taken significant casualties from what you can see of just bodies rolling back down the crater, and presumably more have died on the charge. So, um, honestly, I'll say at this point, you can wait for the next wave to come down because they're literally just starting to land, or you can follow the squad. Of the squads, the, the first wave of attacks. Um, 
And I, I guess it's up to yeah, Captain. As soon as like everyone had gone over the lip, yeah. making sure that no one stayed behind. Yeah. We were probably gonna go. Okay. Okay. Fine. Would you like to say anything before you? Well, charge it's, a, it's a second wave. A different company. Yeah. They'll have a different the, captain. The, yeah. The, yeah. They'll, they'll have a different captain. Yeah. Or lieutenant. <laughs> so you just gotta. Turn to your squad. I, I turn to them and go, right, it's our turn. Everyone, they need that standard. They need your medical skills. They need your rocket launcher. And Sergeant Grunt, who else is going to kick their ass? Who's exactly, ready? sir. And run over the lip. I follow him. Hey, I sir. Go, we yeah. can do it. No worries. I'd like to try and motivate everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how so are you? Well last how are time. In the park. It'll be fine. If you start singing, I point my stubber at you. How, how, <laughs> how, are, you, how are you doing this? I'm just like, it'll be fine, walk in the park. Don't worry about it, we'll be home by tea time. Everything's fine. I, I'm i not gonna make you, like, if it was something a bit more like, you know, a marching song or like some kind of thing, I'd be like, yeah, maybe make a roll. But <laughs> if... <laughs> so, for the emperor, we are gonna kick their ass for I the emperor. I got my stubber in your direction. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, I'm singing, I'm singing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna roll... shoot her. <laughs> Roll me uh, for this one. See if there's anything else that works. Um, there's nothing else that works. Roll me a charm. I can give her a plus 10 with my do it well. So I will help her and I will be like, everyone sing along with Guardsman Braidal if you wouldn't mind for plus, the Emperor. Plus, plus 10, Frederico. Okay, I, I just put the 10 in the modifier, right? It's not yeah, plus. yeah, you just yeah. put 10 in there. Just reminding myself. Minus 1.7. A shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't shoot me. So. For the Emperor, we are going to kick the rouses of the Emperor. What I'm going to say for the purposes of this is the second you go over that lip, you can't, you can't even hear yourself singing this. For the... Like, yeah, the know. whizzing bullets and, like, as you go over the lip, there start to be explosions as well because there are there's like artillery mortar fire coming down and what you can see here is the initial wave has not petered out it's got about halfway so this is going to be a good 30 second sprint to the nearest cover and the nearest cover is outcropping of rocks which you now see guardsmen behind returning fire further on, probably another 30 seconds sprint, is a line of trenches. And you can see green heads popping up. Uh, there's quite a few kind of like fixed emplacements and just orcs with guns firing. So that's what you see as you come over. Uh, you can obviously, there are bodies kind of littered as you go. You're gonna have to make a sprint for it. Okay. Sprinting it. I'm making sure the Vox Trooper keeps going. If they if they drop, I'm gonna just carry the Vox. Okay. Athletics? Yeah. Let's get <laughs> let's get an athletics from everyone. Yeah. Oh, now I succeeded. That, now oh. that's some good rolling. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well there. There's a the four in there and a three. About time. Everyone yeah. I rolled a six. Yeah, everyone got more nice. than two degrees of success, except for Frederica, who got minus 3.6 degrees. <laughs> so, you're, you're, the, you're carrying the rockets. They're heavy. And yeah. you don't know that much about rockets. If you jostle them, do they explode? Yeah. So I think you're that. doing a little bit of like a waddle as well, and like it's a little bit heavy, <laughs> lads, and you're lads, wait up, lads. And you're you're falling behind a little bit. So I'm yes. gonna have to stay with her because you have a rocket loaded. Oh, okay. Then never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that. Um, I assume you want a frag rocket loaded as well. Probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah just for the sake of. Um, you know, it's the most likely thing you're going to encounter first. So, uh, what I'm going to say is, in this initial sprint, I will roll... I will roll three times. So. 
let us get one of these boys and have them. Oh god, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna because I know the target. It's gonna be easier if I just roll D100s. Um, because otherwise I'm gonna have to go through all like the the close, you know, the range and the the auto and mm. and everything. So. going to be a little bit quicker if I type properly. Should you set up a macro? Yeah, I'll make a macro for just rolling a d100 and then add it. Yeah. Uh, so... For... This is... Uh, who rolled the, the worst? Runner? Um, so we got Frederica and Captain Ravensburg rolled a 16. Cool. Oh, so Captain Ravensburg uh, and one of the runners. So uh, roll me a dodge, Frederica and Captain Ravensburg. Wow, that runner did not dodge. Uh, Frederica, <laughs> do it well. Please dodge. Doing it well dodge makes no difference. Nope, but I'm not doing it well. Minus Five minus three. Okay. Hmm. So. Oof. Ladies and gents, this is bad already. Um. So. <laughs> is that the crit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the runner. I'm gonna have to. Those are a lot of damage rolls that, that seem to be equal to or greater than a lot of our health values. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's wrong. So, we got damage uh, rolls of 14, 13, and 10. Zero penetration. So, uh, the 13 it hits Frederica, the 10 hits um, Ravensburg. Uh, you guys take minus your toughness and armor. I don't feel it. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? And... Captain Raven's oh, is your, a badass. Is your toughness four? My toughness is four. So that combined <laughs> with, our, with our pretty decent armor is just enough to be okay. Just enough. It hits me, send a toss, and I just keep running. Yeah. You, 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 you just tank it. You guys <laughs> You guys basically see uh, Captain Ravensburg like, it, it kind of pings, like, his, his, his armor, and just... Like, it doesn't penetrate it. So you see him kind of, like, take a hit and kind of, like, get a bit spun. And then he just get like, head back down and keeps running. Like, big chip out of the ceramite, though. Yeah. I have no idea how to work this out. Um, okay. So, uh, let me bring up your sheet. It's down to in the armor and defense section. Yeah. Uh, so you have seven armor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you took 13... Which means you will take uh, six wounds. Ooh, right. Um... Seven armor. She doesn't have the carapace. Oh. Yeah. Should she I have, have carapace or not? No. Okay. Do I have carapace? So I'm, I don't uh, know where I put the sword. Sorry. Uh, you did, so right? your wounds. Right. There you go. And then you take six. So uh, your current seven? your current will be seven. Cool. Okay. Right. Uh, so you you probably take um, take a shot. Just it it it, hit, it hits your armor. It's straight on and it just penetrates. And I think maybe just like ah! your, yeah, just like your arm maybe or oh, possibly right. okay. like the shoulder because it, it's quite a heavy hit. Mm. It's That's... not gonna stop you from getting to the rocks. Mm. So you all kind of post up and slam into these kind of like jagged rocks. Um, a lot of them are starting to chip everywhere because they are receiving a lot of fire. The troopers at them also are firing their, you know, firing their las guns back, but they don't have any special weapons, so um, it's, it's just the, las gun fire. I hold the standard out ab over the top of the rock. Yeah, uh, and I'm behind the rock, but it, I'm trying to like sit it on the top of the rock. It's not a decoy, uh, Flem and Flem. 
Flem and Flem and the soldiers need to see it. It's the standard. It's so a bloody great target, is what it is. You hear a. You hear a, a, a like a roar and a cheer behind you, which you can assume is the next uh, companies getting ready to charge over the top. So they're gonna come and start. The the second wave's coming. Now the, we're closer. Can we get a range on where these bunkers are? Uh, would you like to look out? I am terrible at perception. Uh, mm -hmm. I I know this. I am terrible. I, I've got bad eyes. I can eyes look I can out. Right. Yep. I'll give it a go, sir. Very well then. If you wouldn't mind having a look, boys. Uh, anyone who is doing this, roll me awareness and scrutiny. Awareness and scrutiny. Yeah. I'ma do it. Okay. Hmm. Awareness. <laughs> Minus five. I did terribly with awareness, but I got a, I got two successes with. Uh, yep. I think it's two. I didn't fail too badly with, with the scrutiny. awareness. That, that's good. Go me. Okay. So, uh, the awareness is basically getting a big picture. The scrutiny is small little things. So, Genrin, with your awareness, you didn't get a big picture. No. You noticed that the orcs are in a trench. It'll probably take you a twen 25 seconds, 30 seconds maybe, to sprint to the trench. I'm not doing that, but okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, past, past that, you didn't really see much because a bullet, like, you know, swinged and you ducked your head. Mm. Um, Frederica, with your awareness, you've seen almost... You, you, you didn't see that much either, but you did see that there is trenches, and then there is the start of hills, and then there's a giant mountain as well, and it looks like a lot of it is bristling. There are... You, you saw, like, snippets of artillery, uh, a couple of, like, weird kind of janky things moving in the background. Uh, then on the... I'll give you this because... Did anyone roll better on awareness? No. So you get this. On the mountain, you saw a giant cylinder just poking out of it. And it looked like a couple of, like, black lines around it as well. Looked um, like some big sort of gun, and gun thing up there or something. I don't know. It's a big thingy, sir. Up, up on the hill, sir. There's a big thingy on the hill? I think it's a gun. Not sure, sir. Close enough and... to shoot. Maybe, maybe, or it could be a bunker. I'm not sure, sir. Uh, I don't know. It's a big round thing. Flemond, with your awareness, you also didn't catch much of the battlefield, but the trenches right in front of you, because of your total recall, you have, like, it, it looks like the orcs are fairly sparsely packed. So, like, there's kind of orc, decent amount of space, you know, like a couple of people's worth of space, then another orc. They've all got various shooty guns. Uh, there's probably like three emplacements like down across the line that's like right in front of you. Um, they are intermittently firing. So you think with a little bit of time, you could maybe get the right moment to move when they're reloading. I'm, I'm going to start really extensively. There's not too many of them, sir. They're quite, they're quite well spaced. We could probably jump in there and take some out if they're reloading, sir. Thank you, Colonel. However, they're... Oh, Colonel. Gonna... Sorry, Corporal. <laughs> uh, I assume that, like... Promotion battlefield history. promotions. <laughs> We're just they, written, like, you go up the chain here. quick in, in the battlefield yeah. here. It's 30 seconds to this cover, 30 seconds to the trench, right? So it's probably, like, 500 meters in total from the edge of the crater? Yeah. So I'm going to get on the Vox unit. Okay. And Vox back to the mortars and to the extra companies that have landed. Requesting more rounds, 500 meters beyond the edge of the crater. We have emplaced enemies, and they have some sort of weird janky things. The janky things are further back, just FYI. Oh, okay. They're We're like... just on the emplacements and their trenches. If you can put some rounds into them and then drop smoke, we will charge on them. So you're requesting smoke or you're requesting rounds? A few rounds and then smoke. A few rounds and then smoke. This is going to give you enough, enough time, Frederica, to see to that wound. While uh, we're waiting for the mortar rounds to come in, I in, would like to start focusing and preparing for the charge ahead. Okay. Uh, give me a couple of uh, awareness rolls, just 
Oh, this is really hard to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, so give me a Medicaid, uh, Frederico. Uh-huh. Uh, let me just find it. There we go. Boop. Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. Hey, look! I rolled good! Okay. Uh, take... Take one wound off. Sweet! Just, like... It still hurts, but you stop... You stop the bleeding. You kind of, like, you know, you cork it up. <laughs> Basically, like... You just fill in the hole. Would anybody like some combat drugs while I've got it out? Yes, please. Cool. Uh, I'd like to pump him full of combat drugs. What what drugs would you like to pump him full of? Uh something. Would, I don't know. Would you like me to pull up the pull up? A yeah, list? yeah. I don't know. Something. Friends on. Uh, don't sorry? give him friends on. <laughs> give him friends on. <laughs> don't don't give people friends I, on already. Just, just something that's going to make him, you know, more effective without going Shot. mental. Something that means I can shoot well. <laughs> that... uh... Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker. <laughs> Drugs and consumables. One nine eight. I, I refuse going. I need a clear mind um... to serve the emperor's purpose. I must oh. deliver the standard. Sorted. So... Bend Looking over. Looking at this. this is... Oh, uh, Slort gives you an agility and perception bonus by three for two, 2d10 minutes. Hmm. But how bad is the crash? Um, <laughs> We're not going to live for more than 20 minutes. When the drug runs its course, the user must pass a challenging toughness test or suffer a minus 20 penalty to agility and perception tests for d 1d5 hours. Oof. But Ooh. can you top it up afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> that's Where that's not Josh dies. It's just overdoses. Yeah, of slot. I, I I would say the more you top him up, the more he's gonna have to test, and the more likely it is he just overdoses and collapses. If you fail the test by like <laughs> five degrees success or six degrees, you just die or something. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. You'll have a bad trip. You die. <laughs> I have no problem with this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's would do anyone it. Not, would anyone like to return fire? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably what, um... As, as we're calling the motor rounds, I'll probably tell Josh that, you know, fire on their position, etc. Everyone else, give him covering fire to do that. Okay. So, uh, if I can get... Just give me a straight-up ballistic skill for everyone else. Because you're not trying to hit anyone. So I won't make you do the whole big roll Pressing thing. fire! Yeah, I'm just gonna randomly fire over the edge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! Minus two, oh shit! Seven, oh, six, shit. Seven. oh shit! You're on ninety-five, but luckily your gun is reliable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which means I believe it means reliable is it only jams on a hundred. Something like that. I think yeah. they changed it in two editions, but it's, it's basically that. Yeah. Yeah. Let, got let's... Five degrees of failure. So. Uh yes. Um. <laughs> Ravensburg, you don't have a gun, so nope. I won't ask you to roll <laughs> ballistic skill. Um. <laughs> Frederica and Flemond, you just, you know what, you expend all your ammo, you, <laughs> you're like, I probably hit something, right? And you, it's just, it's just wildfire, you know, it, I'm it there's... firing into the sky. The, I've just got the gun set on the rock, firing I'm, vaguely. I'm probably, doing it while, I'm probably doing it while treating my arm, so I'm just like, ow. Yeah. I might be able to get one, sir, there. <laughs> So no, it's impressive covering fire. Keep yeah. it up. You guys you guys get to the point where it's click, click, click. Uh, Bastor, you are a bit more meticulous. Roll me a damage. Okay. Um... Okay. Um, so, Bastor, you aim and you let off shots directly at the orcs. Um, you see a couple hit. It doesn't, like, that. You, you see them kind of, you know, you, you see the las, the las burst, like, hit them, and, you know, one of them even maybe staggers a bit, but it, it, it doesn't really seem to affect them too much, which is not exactly what you've been told about orcs, but I assume in the middle of combat, it's not really something you're thinking about too much. Uh, and also the behind you guys, the um, you hear the foot foot of mortars, 
and the uh, charging yell of the second wave coming up. As the second wave comes up, the... Um, we'll save that for a second, because uh, Grunning... Um, uh, sorry, character names. Bolbas is taking his shot with his rocket launcher, isn't he? Oh! Oh, I have to do a special shot, do I? Yes. So if you do... Uh, let's have a Does look he have time here. to do a full aim because people are covering him? Fuck no, he doesn't. He has enough for a, <laughs> he has enough for a half aim. It was really bad covering fire, to be fair. It was very bad. Proof. Hey, you say that, I hit a few. So, Didn't bugger all, but I hit a few. Uh, so, Josh, this will be half aim. Mm -hmm. It will be standard range. Standard range. Uh, rate then... of fire will be... Standard, semi-auto. Standard, yeah. Do you can't well, do if we're doing standard. Um, suppressing fire, are we doing suppressing fire? You are. They are. You're, You're not. They them. are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I am definitely doing. Uh, which, which one? Okay. Um, your uh, sta uh, no, uh, just standard. Okay. Let's do this. You got this. Come on, do, buddy. Do, 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 do. Minus two. So. Oh, could I have given him the plus 10 to do it well? Because he was meant to be doing it well. You could have, but you forgot Damn it. about it. I need to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... No, minus 0 0.2. Never mind. Yes, minus, minus, minus 0 0.2. Uh, so it, it's not a success. But the great thing about rocket launchers and grenades and stuff is that they scatter if they miss. So roll me a d6. Oh no, I fired with a heavy stubber. That's what I was using there. Uh, it would oh. be. It would have been the same roll. Oh, it's the same roll. Okay, yeah. never mind then. Um, how do I roll scatter? A uh, roll a d6. Oh yay! Two. Okay. Just. So where are you aiming? Where, uh, here's a question. You didn't really get a good enough idea. Are you just? Is this more of like a? hit the trench kind of thing. Yeah, this is a look for something green or slash shiny that's shooting out little okay. trace of... Yeah. And I, th I think you can get that. Um, what I will say is you can aim for the cornerstone of the defense, which is basically um, a section of corner of the, of the trench where there are two static defenses like machine guns basically mm. yeah 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 but you will take a shot so oh yeah yeah you will have to dodge and you may get hit awesome are you down for this yes okay um you know me sheepy the answer is yes this this yeah i know i know just i have to make <laughs> sure i'm not gonna make people you know just get killed no that's fine that's fine. um although imperial guard so i may as well uh roll me damage uh roll me three damage dice uh, only f it was frag, wasn't it? Okay. Yes. Damage, damage, damage. 11, 13, and 8. Penetration 2. This is also a... It's it's just the D2, so you don't drop anything. So you rolled a crit. Uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm, because, you, because we're doing, like, the multiple damages and it's a rocket launcher, I'm not going to give you the Righteous Fury. Um, okay. What I will say is, if you would like to follow up by slinging your rock, your rocket launcher on your back, bringing the heavy stubber out, I'll give you another attack. Do it. Instead of dodging, or... But it will be minus 10 to the, to the shot. Do it well this time! Yeah. So Glory be, lasts forever! It'll be, it'll be zero, in fact. Fuck them yeah, up, the mate! Level. Fuck them up! You also, you're doing full auto of the heavy stubber, because there's no other setting, so yeah. it'd be... Yeah. Okay, uh, I will do. Oh, did I? Roll uh, anything? you did the damage. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we did the damage. Whoops. Okay, so half no aim. Uh, no aim. Yeah, no. <laughs> no aim. Standard range. Yeah. Uh, Full then... auto. Modify modify zero. Modify what? zero. It's a one in three. Minus one degrees of success. <laughs> what I will say is you did enough damage to destroy these two emplacements. Uh, the scatter wasn't enough that it was going to go anywhere far enough to, you know, make the blast not hit them both. Mm. You 
what what we see here is you lot all kind of like spin out uh, a couple of mortar mortar hits as as you start firing, which increases a little bit the the effectiveness of this. Uh, you all lay down fire. A couple of you are a little bit wild, a little bit not hitting anything. Um, Should I roll that dodge? Not yet. Okay. Uh, and then Bartobas swings the the rocket launcher around, just like does a lunge to the side, so he he pops out of the uh, yeah <laughs> he he he, pop, he pops out of the rocks and just takes a couple of seconds, shoots, and the rocket just goes and bang like there is a big explosion uh kind of bits of orc actually probably fall around you guys as well so it's just like tiny bits of like splattering flesh green like very yeah you did it well done specialist <coughs> battle pass i knew no! we brought you here for a reason as you, ah! as you, <laughs> one, mate. yeah as you congratulate him he slings he like flings his rocket launcher and it like flies up and round his back and then <laughs> just pulls back and brings his heavy stopper out and just unleashes a huge burst. Now, this has left him out too long, but it is it is enough, uh, he got enough, like, he got minus one degree of success, so one degree of failure. But it's not that bad, so this will get their heads down and their heavy weapons <laughs> have just been taken out. If you're going to charge the trench, this is the moment to do we it. We have mortars incoming. The mortars just hit. Oh, they already hit. The smoke is coming. Everyone, fix bayonets over the top, engage them in the trench and take it from them. Are you with me? So, yes, we sir. better get the second wave yeah. of damn good example, sir. What? That's what I like to hear. Follow. I charge out. Okay. As I'll you follow. say, as you say, follow. Waving the standard. Yes. As you say, follow. Uh, I think everyone moves at this point. Like there's there's no one giving covering fire aside from Bartle Bass, who is still opening up. And he's basically just in a big arc, like sweeping along the trench, and it's like ping 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 ping. Um and you this all is start purely charging. for aesthetic re reasons that he's yeah. doing. He's just like It makes him feel very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh absolutely. And the um as you say charge and follow me, the smoke hits. Like just it just a little bit in front of the trench. And just starts covers a little bit, so basically it'll be a minus to to hit. Um, however, as Bartle Bass is is doing this, and just don't, uh, Rick, don't forget you have your move fast thing. Just FYI, I know. Okay, cool. Um, as Bartle Bass is like, dun 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 dun, further up, uh, Bartle Bass, you see a flash of like light off glass that's weird sir oh they've started running so you're you're like covering you're covering their advance um no, I, I i shout that over oh, the noise and yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but yeah uh roll me a dodge okay oh no they've got a sniper don't they no minus 0 0.3 Oh well, it was nice there. Comes the damage roll. Remember, we've got a fuzzy ability that we need to use at some point. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I'm well aware of that. I was worried I was going to have to use it on myself. <laughs> Isn't it the you can use it once per player per mission? Or... Uh, once, once, once per mission, which means in these two episodes we're doing, you can use it once. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, I remember it got downgraded from what we initially thought, but and then it made more yeah. powerful. If yeah. I can advise you, seeing as Josh isn't here next week, maybe don't use it on him. <laughs> uh, is is that a high roll? It's not low. Because there's a thing I can do, but I, it, it's just below average. Oh, I won't do that then. I won't force a reroll. So. It will kill him in one, though. Bartle Bass. Oh, will it? Boss. Mm hmm. You take 18 damage. 
with six penetration. Okay. Oh I lord. C can I force a reroll? If you would like, sure. I believe you get one per per session. So yeah, because it, it will just kill him per person session. Yeah. I have thirteen wounds. Yep. And, my, and your done. toughness. Oh. Which is three, right? Uh, my toughness is three. Yeah. It'll take you to minus two. What's... Will, will he just straight up die, or is he recoverable still at that point? Um, he will be down, and he will be out of the fight. It won't necessarily mean he dies. I will use my, my ability to force a reroll of the damage. Okay. Uh -oh. So... Which might make things worse. I shine... Oh yeah, that made it worse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Only well... by one! It, yeah, it's 90 damage instead of 18. Uh, Bartle Bass, you are planted. You are covering the advance of your... of your team, of, of everyone almost. Uh, as the second load of troops come forward, you see this flash, and then just suddenly you feel this pain, like just this sharp, like, like intense pain in your neck. Oh, and that's not hunger. You, <laughs> you start you like all of the strength leaves your body. The, the heavy stubber feels like a tank and you just start slowly falling backwards with your finger still on the trigger like it just swings upwards and you're like when you hit the ground on your back you're still firing I'm gonna give this to you um uh, I'm gonna give this to you Frederica you s you hear and see this happen oh, you're, shit. you're halfway in your charge. Sir! Sir! He's down, sir! Do I go back for him, sir? The second wave is coming up towards the rocks, so they're close to being on him. Whether they have a medic, whether they're any good is... The second wave will get to him. If they do not, we will take the trench and we will return for him. So, yes, sir. Sir, do I ditch these rockets since our rocket launcher specialist has fallen over, sir? Ditch them somewhere, you will find them again. Ditch them near the edge of the enemy trench, perhaps. Sir, yes, sir! I will carry on. Okay. Uh, Bottle Bass, you're staring up at the sky. Yeah, thinking pretty, about snacks. A few pretty clouds going up over and above. This There's, planet's not so bad. The, the sounds of the battle are muffled and getting more distant. You feel like dirt kind of kick over your face as someone like as someone like lands nearby you on their knees and starts like pouring around your neck, I I look disgruntled at them. Mm. Like, mm. Maybe, maybe like weakly you get your hand up. You like you like like just batting at the, at whatever's there. Uh, let's take a D one hundred and see how this medic does. Just just a D just a D one hundred. Ah, sheep, you rolled well. Um, sheep, you rolled well. <laughs> You are. Uh, you you feel like a you feel like this kind of kind of cold compress type thing being like wrapped around your neck and it very slightly like cuts off the airflow. You, you know, like your throat. So it feels a bit difficult to breathe, but it was already difficult to breathe. You got shot through the neck, dude. Um, and you start oh, getting. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Uh, oh. you, you you realize this now as you start getting like dragged back and. You don't know what your chances of survival are. Just speaking uh, to you as a player here. Um, more than, you know, uh, Bartle Bass himself, because he's in a little bit of shock. Um, I'd say, depending on how the invasion goes, you should survive if medical comes down soon. I guess we'll see. For now, you're being taken back to basically a line of troops who've already been shot and wounded. So, Hi, fellas. <laughs> everyone else, I will say, before you hit this trench line, there's maybe five orcs left. What if we do a thing, though? <coughs> do a thing I would like thing. to use my double movement ability. Okay. 
to get us into cover faster. Well, what I was going to say is while you're charging, I'll allow a moment to stop and shoot before you get to the trench. If you would like it. Uh, it's smoke. So... Well, but the smoke was supposed to be, like, in between you. So, like, what I'll say is, you guys go through the smoke. As you get out the smoke, stop, fire, charge. Obviously, you won't need this, um, Ravensburg. This is an offer to the other three. Did I get an opportunity to reload while behind the rock after firing yes. all um, my ammo? As, okay. a, as a regiment, your whole regiment has been disciplined to the point where they have rapid reload as a talent. Which means reloading is faster. Nice. Okay. So... And possibly oh, free. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. can I lob a grenade into the trench? I was going to say, I can still lob yeah. a grenade as well. I'll do that and switch my power sword. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep. if you'd like to... We're going to chuck grenades. Uh, is everyone chucking grenades? Is it necessary for four grenades to be thrown? You know, it's not a bad idea to throw the shit out of the trench. There are, yeah. there are five orcs. Four grenades is still not overkill. <laughs> I throw a grenade. We all throw grenades. Okay. We uh, all, as a, as a four, we all yeah, stop. Ravensburg's <laughs> uh, typical tactic is the grenade tra uh, charge with bayonets. Yeah. You, know, you, you fix bayonets, you throw a grenade, then you stab them with the bayonet just to make sure they're dead. They, they don't have bayonets, but... Um... We do. Don't they? What? We've got knives, not bayonets. Yes. We, it's right, we've gaffer tape knives to our bolt uh, las guns or whatever. Okay, that's acceptable. Same thing, same thing. And then they melt after the first shot. <laughs> so, let's let's get a ballistic skill. I've got my own everyone. bayonet. It's great. Um, <laughs> take a plus. Take a plus twenty on your ballistic skill, just purely because it is close. Okay. Uh, Could I get an additional plus ten for my like insight trait? Which I tried yes, to activate. You, you, you did. Cool. You did activate that. I so. will give. Uh, you know what? I will give. Carter, my plus ten for do it well. Yay. Okay. So, are we just rolling straight ballistics? We're plus twenty. Plus twenty. I still missed even <laughs> with plus twenty and to do it well. Yeah. I got a fourteen. I land it right in there. Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I am not the natural here. 100 oh, by Frederica. <laughs> seeing this is as, why we have spacing. See, seeing as we had a beautiful sacrifice by Bartabas, <laughs> I will drop you guys a reroll. You can save it and just have no. what happens. I'm, I'm going to take that reroll now, if that's okay. okay. Do it. We need I'm a medic. Gonna keep, I'm going to keep hold of mine for now. Okay, Frederica yeah. had, what, like four natural 100s already? Yeah. This is not. Yeah. No. Fre what Frederica rolled 100, which means you fumbled that fucking grenade. Yeah. Uh, so, of Frederica on the grenade, one. if you will. <laughs> uh, right, so I get a reroll, yes? Yes. Okay, do I still get the 20 for the reroll? Uh, you get the, you get the, sa the same yeah. uh, bonuses as last time, yeah. Oh, there we go. There so, go. what I do is I go, oh, 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 shit, fuck, there we go. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to say is Captain Ravensburg, your grenade lands between two orcs. Frederica, yours lands... Your, I think yours just hits the face of an, of an orc. Like, it just goes... <laughs> it's just like, grenade! Boonk. Um, <laughs> so, roll one damage for me. And I think with the failures of Carter and Grunginger not being horrible, I'll designate both of your grenades land on the same orc. The damage is going to be slightly reduced in my head, so one of you roll a damage. Uh, I uh, I will say, uh, I, oh God, your name, Bentham. I don't have anywhere to pull it. Carter. Up. Carter. Um, I remember yeah. it because it's Corporal Carter, because it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Bentham, uh, you should change it and roll it. purpose. Yeah, Car Carter, you um, you roll, you roll the damage. Okay. Okay. Damage. damage. I have it as my... Yeah, I need to change my actual name name. Yeah. I did eight damage, though. Okay. Uh, that's probably fine, right? Um, let's have a look at these boys. I don't think... This will... don't think this will kill them. Do. Um... Change my name. Oof. 
Uh, so the grenades, like, go off. Uh, the orc who got hit, hit in the face, like, it just goes off as, at, at, like, kind of mid-body level. Uh, the two, um... The two that uh, got caught in Captain Ravensburg's blast, uh, again, goes off at their feet. Uh, the other one kind of gets blown forwards a little bit because the grenade, like, went over his head and it wasn't, like, in the trench, so... Shielded, uh, he was protected a little bit from the blast. Um, as you guys, I'm assuming you, you like, stop, pull, throw. And then carry on charging. Mostly in mid-charge, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, as, as maybe you're still, like, moving a little bit, you slow down a little bit to throw the, to, like, pull the grenades, yeah. like, throw yeah. them. Yeah, not mm. stopping because fucking sniper. Yeah. Um, mm. and as you're about to go over into the trench, it's wide enough for maybe a couple of people, uh, to stand back to back kind of thing. Um, the explosion has happened, uh, for all of you. It hasn't seemed to have done that much. Like they're they're a little bit bloody. They're a little bit like, but there's there's like shrapnel just sat in one of the orc's chests as you come down on them. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be there going, sir. Permission to use your use your combat drug, sir. Uh, you won't have time. God damn it. <laughs> so question, uh, first question. Are you guys happy to go a little bit longer for this fight? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, second question, then, if we're going to go a bit longer. Uh, there are five orcs. There are two together, and then three down the line. Where are you? Who are you going for? I think we all charge the two together and just swamp them, because that way we'll be in the trench, yeah. and then they won't like have cover against us. Okay. Yeah. So the two together are kind of in the center. So you got one on one on your right, like as you're facing the trench. One on your right, two on your left. You'll get a round of attack before they can get to you. In so. fact, I, I would like to spend the first round attempting to uh, juice the the, uh, the 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 EE up with combat. If you drugs. try and do that, I will punch you in the face of. Power. Oh, okay, right, <laughs> sir. Combat drugs, sir. No, I do not need them. I have the emperor on my side. Sir, the, yes, sir. This is this is literally a snapshot before you charge and jump into a trench filled with orcs. You, yeah. you don't really have time to combat drug someone up. So it's more like drugs, no. Yeah, <laughs> and then we leap in. <laughs> um, so fair enough. Roll me initiative, everyone. Um, I have a thing for initiative before you roll. Uh, and I'll, the first attack will count as a charge for everyone. I've got plus one to initiative rolls for anyone in the squad because of my combat formation. And you can choose to use my intelligence mod of, uh, bonus instead of your agility. I have a plus four to intelligence. So is it plus oh, four and then the plus one? Plus one? I think so. You get plus one to initiative and you may use your intelligence. So it can be a plus five. I in total believe one. it's just a d10 plus your agility. But it can be plus one because it's ability, right? Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, and then you may replace the agility bonus with his intelligence bonus. Oh, okay, then yeah. Yes. So we can roll 1d10 plus 5. Yeah. Okay. But where's the... Is there a button for agility, or do we just type it? Just roll 1d10 plus 5. Your ability is not any better than Rick's ability. 12. 13. I am going to tell Sergeant... Gr uh, you know what? I will tell Corporal Carter to do it well, because he's got a chainsaw. Uh, he doesn't... Are you, are you talking for the actual attack? For the attack, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't really do it for. Uh, no, for no, initiative. plus ten to initiative would be crazy. Um, okay, so uh, the orcs have. I rolled worst for initiative. I'll do it well eventually. I'm busy trying to get the standard <laughs> down into the well, trench. I try and go sideways like a dog <laughs> trying to take a stick through a gate. Yeah. So, um, you all, in order, it will start with Frederica then Grunninger, then Ravensburg, and then Carter, you all get an attack. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot him with my last gun. Okay. <clears throat> so no, you're not, you're just... not charging in melee, you're... No, no, I'm not, okay. no, I'm gonna, we'll, I'm gonna... We'll call this, we'll, we'll call this point blank for, yeah. in terms of, like, range. So I'm going to shoot before everybody goes in with the thing. I'm just going to sort of try and uh, hose him down a bit. What it will mean is that you're not in the trench. 
Can I not jump down in the trench and just fire? If you jump down in the trench, you're either going to be in melee combat or too close to use your rifle. Do you want to shoot, then jump down into the trench? You can shoot and then jump oh, down yes, into I the would, trench. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Shoot into the trench, then jump down into it. We need your body to add to our multi... Down Double team tactics. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Okay, and seeing shoot. as you go first, that's legitimate, actually. Okay, cool, cool. Right, so it's just uh, ballistics, yeah? Uh, uh, roll your your to hit with your last gun. Uh, okay, that's that one. So uh, I'll uh, because it's a little bit of a pain. Um, is it no aim or? Uh, it would be no aim, yeah. Right. Oop. And point blank plus thirty. Are you using it semi-auto or single shot? Semi-auto uh, means you can hit more. Wait, what? Yeah, so se semi-auto means that for every two degrees of success, you get an extra hit up to three. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll do that. Well, s standard shot means uh, it's a bit easier, so you don't get the minus to your roll. All right, okay, standard. It's, it's up to you. Either, either I like one. the idea that's of standard. being more likely to land a hit at all. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Uh, any modifier or? Is there any modifier? Nope, nope. Okay. Pew 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 pew! Ooh. 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 three hits. It's a shame you didn't semi-auto. Uh, roll me a damage. Um. Uh, 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 oh, no, that's the frag grenade. Don't. Yep, 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 yep. Your lucky oh, thank God. On one. That's a terrible frag grenade. <laughs> Seven with penetration, and I believe. Let me just check this for a second. Uh, it, it you you like aim at one of the orcs, uh, squeeze off a shot, hits him perfectly in the head, and it just frazzles and it doesn't doesn't seem to do anything. Choo! Oh, <clears throat> I'm gonna jump down into the yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is the one on the right, and you like jump down to kind of to the right of the uh, the two orcs in the center, and as you like as you like clump down, you just like dead dead eyes straight at the orc who's just staring at you um who's up next it is that would be me yes Groninger. what would you like to do i think i'll take a shot at the same orc and then jump down near the um near the medic okay so like there's enough space for both of you so maybe like maybe like uh frederica like does that does that very quickly like jumps down and you're like i'll just follow do the ex you know similar thing Yep. So it's going to be the same range and, and everything. Um, would you... Uh, no it's up to you whether you want to semi-auto or standard. We only live once. I'm going semi-auto. Okay, yeah. Go semi-auto. <sighs> Damn it. You fire as you're jumping down. And just really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, it just... Like, three, three shots just ping all around the orc. And... Um, he, do he doesn't take his eyes off Frederica. And he just, <laughs> like, like he just reaches back and this, like, wicked-looking kind of axe just comes off his back. Uh, and it, it's, like, slow and deliberate, like, like, I'm not even, I'm not even phased. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and next up is Captain Ravensburg. All right, no, Corporal Carter, do it well. I'm going to jump down between the two orcs. Okay. I see. And you have a charge on this, so... Okay. I'm gonna power fist the one that's looking at, uh... Right. Braidal, and I'm gonna power sword the other one. Uh, neither of them are looking at Braidal. This is the guy on the right further away. Oh, okay. In which case, I jump down between the two we were targeting, and I'm just gonna then start with the power fist, and then we'll go crazy on the other one. Okay. Uh, power fist. No aim. It's... I see him. Uh, it should be... It... Uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, because yeah, we just come out of the smoke, but it's yeah. all out, and it's not all out, it's a charge. It's there a we go. Charge, yeah. If you do all out for the kids back home, you can't parry <laughs> or dodge. Hmm. Uh, I will I will put it in as all out because I have Berserk Charge, which gives me that plus 10. Yeah, so... you do. So, yeah, the, it's still a charge, but it's. um. Yeah. And then it's, um, it's Swift Attack, so I don't get the plus 10. Yeah. Oh! Uh -huh. That's a hit. That's three hits Let's... because Swift Attack. Um, yes, <laughs> yes it is. So, how would you like 
to split up these attacks. First one on that guy, second one on that guy, third one on that guy. Okay. Some awful rolls, but... I mean, it's not great rolls, but it's still a lot of damage with high pen, so... It, it's Co comparative to last guns. <laughs> Um, so, uh, let's have a think here. So, it's two on one. That guy's definitely going down. Yeah, that guy was one and three, and that guy was two. Okay. So, the guy who's two, uh, I'm going to guess the guy on your left as you jump down. Sure. Uh, I was going to be my right, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. Um, he, you just, you, you like, you, you kind of charge in... You jump down and you land in between them, and they both kind of like swing to you, and they're like, "Whoa!" And you just ah! <laughs> yeah, you you basically use the the momentum when you hit them to re. So you you basically like pinball back in between them, <laughs> bang, bang, and uh, the first hit like kind of stuns the first orc. The, the the as you go back round, you like kind of, I'd, I'd say maybe even bowl the orc uh, to your right backwards a bit, and he like stumbles and rebounds off Grunninger and like you know comes back that way, and then you just ram your fist like into the chest of the sec of the orc on your left, and it's just like there's a crackle of power field, there's like a sloosh as all these like internal organs like flip out. There's, like, blood spewing out. You just pull it out. And one of them's still upright. Yeah. Then the power cells. Uh, do you get two attacks? Uh, yeah, I thought because that I was get your wield. When I make an attack, I can attack with both weapons, right? And you're wielding? <coughs> um, so, like, you still have to use your 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 kind of action. So the the, the action was attacking, was the charge this time. So oh, okay. you get an attack... And you can dual wield, so you can attack with both weapons. Okay, uh, I thought it was made as part of the same attack action. Yeah, yeah so the, the attack will be, you're able to use both weapons, so you could have used the power sword for some of the damage on, on that as well. Okay, I thought dual wielding was like, you can make an, an extra attack during the attack action with the other one, whereas that was just the swift attack with one weapon. Um... Because swift attack is like, you make one roll, but it is... Extra good success is effectively the same as semi-auto, whereas yeah, you, you know what that 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 does that does make more sense. We'll ha we'll have to look into that more for the future. But let's mm. say you get an extra attack, it can't be a swift attack. So. It's okay. I'll make it a single attack of this one. I just yeah, want this one guy attack. dead. And so. I'll, I'll say it's not a charge in this instance because. All right, uh, it is a standard attack. Yeah. With a hit. Hell yeah! Roll me that damage. With 15 damage. So I will finish off my narration of what happens here, <laughs> where you you jump down, they yell, you yell, you pinball between with the power fist, and then you just slam your power fist right into his chest. It starts slopping, it starts like, it starts kind of like eking out like grossness, and then you turn to the other orc as he's like still yelling in your face after he's recovered and you just like spin your power sword and just slide it like right up through his throat that's exactly what i was thinking straight up the head. through the back of the head yeah and you're just there with two orcs just both skewered oh, well on you done, sir. and job. you and at the same time you slam them both out and like the the viscera just slides off your weapons um as you like splatter it all over the floor and they both collapse uh, and with that amazing feat of close combat, which for anyone who's ever thinking about being an Imperial God, don't be Captain Ravensburg and don't go melee. It's such a terrible <laughs> It's a bad <laughs> example. When doing character creation was like, you probably shouldn't do melee as your yeah. character. And I was like, okay, now I'm doing melee only. Yep. So, uh, Corporal Carter, you just saw this. You were the last one coming over this, uh, out of the smoke. There's an orc looking at me, help! Do yeah, so there's a, there's an orc that's still standing who's next to the other two, right? They are okay. not they are not in close combat with you and you don't know enough about yeah. orcs for me to have you. Yeah. So th like you but can you, assume You can see him drawing an axe, right? Yeah. You you yeah. can assume he's probably about to charge at you. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna be dumb because I've just seen this amazing feat by my commander. I'm like, the emperor is with us, and I'm gonna grab my <laughs> chain sword and leap in and, and swing at it. At which the one on the right or the one on the left? Oh, oh there's, the sorry, there's two on the left. The, there's one that stood next to the other two, right? A, a little bit further, the, yeah. You, you can. I was you gonna can go for that one. Him. I was gonna yeah. protect my 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 teammates. Yeah, you can charge at him. Okay, I charge that one. Okay. Frederick, he's just like. I like that. Uh, Captain Redberg's Berg's motto, go ham or be shot by your CO. <laughs> <laughs> Except you won't uh, be shot, I have no range weapon. Give give me a scrutiny very quickly. Um... Oh. Me? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, cancel. Uh, scrutiny... dupe. Uh, that's a fail. It's close enough. Wait, um, does the do it well apply to this, or does no, the do I told it, you do it well? Yeah, to the action. do it. Yeah, yeah. It, this this is like an extra thing I added on the the do it well was specifically okay. for the attack. Um, I'll tell you this: charging in like this, you're going to leave Captain Ravensburg open to attack from two orcs. Oh, okay. I will attack one of the. Or like, I mean, he's you, he's you, dealt you, fine with two orcs so far, but what, I will I'll yeah, keep what, one of them tied up then. What I what I what I what I'll tell you is like. If you go that, if you go to the left, you will be attacked by two orcs. If you go to the right, Captain Ravensburg will be attacked by two orcs. But False. you might be able to save your medic going right. You might be able to save your captain going left. I go left. Oh, you're not sticking with the anvil veterans. He's no, I, I no left. Left. It, left is you. He saves oh, you. Oh, really? You're not going to protect the medic? Yeah, you're not going to protect the medic. <laughs> you're the worst. What, kind of, <laughs> what kind of soldier are you? Uh, um, this is fine. So, so is this a charge then? Yes, this will be a charge. So you get a plus twenty. You get a plus ten for my do it well as well. Okay. I realize I don't actually know how this stuff works properly. Wait, yeah, so uh, if... I'll count it as a half aim for the plus 10 and then a charge and then yeah. submit. Hell yeah! Ooh. Five degrees of success total. With, with your with your standard in one hand and your chainsaw nice. in the other, would you like to give us, like, obviously not an ear splitting yell, but just a little, little battle cry yell? For the Emperor! <laughs> yeah, fucking. And you just jump down and as you, as you, like, start your arc. You clamp down on the trigger, and your chainsaw just goes, like starts going heavy, and you just bring it down to New York. Roll me damage. This better not be crap. Thirteen. Penetration. Penetration two. Ten two. Okay. And it'll you, do something, right? <laughs> you bring it down, and it comes down right here on the orc, and just. There's a moment where you're not sure if you're going to be able to swing all the way through because orcs are tough. You've, you've started to realise this, I think, at this point. <laughs> um, and there's like a moment of resistance as you like push down with your chainsword where you're like, that's as far as it's going to go. And then you just... How did you get a chainsword out of an orc? I think... I think you reverse the trigger, you can reverse them. Yeah. Mm. I think there's there's like a second where you like have a momentary flashback to the anvil and you're like not again and you just push down and it just slices through the orc and cuts him from from shoulder to waist oh wait did i kill it yeah holy they, crap been, i just been... like hold up the side like i killed no! the orc! And very much like they cannot stop us. Very much like the other side of combat, the orc behind him, like you're like yeah, they cannot stop us. And the 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 half of the orc that's been sliced just slowly slides off the body to reveal another orc behind it who is staring <laughs> at you and just goes. Oh. <laughs> And almost, almost in unison, it's like they rolled the same initiative. Both orcs <laughs> on both sides uh, raise their raise their axes above their head, Work! and charge. And we'll go with Frederica first. <laughs> Fuck. Unfortunately, uh... this is a charge. Um, so I'm gonna say no aim. Is there anything I can do? You can dodge. 
and you can Pooping is a free action. And you can pray to the Emperor. Those... Can I maybe <laughs> intimidate the Orc to get it to charge me instead? No. The because they're, they're, they're like in the way. Both of them are in the way at this It can point. stomp on them. That's fine. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dodge and pray. Oh, he misses. Oh, Woo! No. So, one. one. I'm just gonna like flatten myself by, against the side. Yeah, of the tree. by one. Zero, zero point one degrees of failure. So it's literally the act, like the axe. I think maybe you even like maybe you take a step back at yeah. the ferocity of this orc, and and just that little change means that his axe just slices down. You can like feel the brush against your nose. And there's like that awkward moment of like, am I intact? And then your webbing just goes. Flump. Yeah. He cuts through your weapon on the way down. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <clears throat> and uh, okay. Corporal Carter, the other orc, at the same time, charges you. Let's see how he does. Uh, okay, so. What the hell is his. Kid to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Worst idea in this game. So it's Run away from the chopper! Yeah, we got to the <laughs> chopper and it was big and scary. I don't like it. <laughs> Hella misses. Yeah. Um, his, his friend hasn't finished falling over, and he like charges at you, <laughs> and then gets like tangled in his friend's legs, and the friend's legs like like kind of fly up in the air, and he's like, he just like chops them out the way, and then starts you know, takes a swing at you, but he's not next to you, and. It, it's just a mess for him. The flag gets all in his face. Yeah. He, he rolled like, a They falter in the light of the Emperor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and we are back to start of the initiative order, which is Frederico. All right. I'm going to... Since this guy's just... I'm just going to like... Ah! And stab him with my... Uh, yeah. My, my, my stab you make Does batteries. everyone have double team? G good yes. Team? I think we get it by default. Yeah. yeah the... You get plus 20 because Rick's in combat, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stab an orc with a. Have I got a thing for the for the stabby? Uh, I didn't give it you, so uh. it we could just say knife. Although no, I think it's one d five something something something. It's yeah. unwieldy though as well. I think. Yeah. That um, just means you can't swift attack, uh, can't lightning attack, and you can't parry. That's fine. Um. Uh, okay, so so I just roll for knife then, or. Um, I will tell you this: the the knife isn't good. It's it's like they their toughness and armor is such that you can't actually damage them with it. Um. Okay. Does this count as an? I, I like sort of. You could you could take a shot. Um. I'm gonna say for the purposes of the fact that you're kind of in in melee combat here. Uh, you take no range. Can bonuses. I stab it with a a, a, a a Can I try and give the orc a sedative? Sure, yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be there like, ah! Natural 100, you give the orc friends on. Yeah, so, so roll, roll me a to hit with your with your knife, and we'll just count it as the knife. Okay, and we're going to... Okay, um... Aim? No aim, or...? Uh, it, it would be half aim. Half aim, okay. Cause the, plus the, 20 for double team as well. Yeah, plus 20 for double team. So modifier uh, would be plus 20. all out... No, uh, you can if you like. It means you can't dodge or parry in, in, when they attack you. Uh, I'll just do a standard then, that's fine. And okay. then plus 20. Yeah. Oh shit, son! Oh damn. You rolled a three. Yeah. Seven degrees of success. Um, Jesus. Frederica, take a fate point, which will roll over into next episode. Um, you, much like you were originally trying to do with, um, Corporal Carter, you just stab this thing at its neck and, like, pump it full of all of, like, your sedatives. And it, <laughs> it's, like, it's just kind of gone down from the swing. And as it goes down, your fist comes up and just smacks it straight in the jugular. And it just, it just doesn't come back up. It just slumps and goes down. And I will say, seeing as you rolled a three, which is critical success as far as I'm con concerned in these games, um, yeah, would you like to finish it off? 
Um, yeah, I'm just going to sort of basically just be like, oh, handy. And then I'm just going to insert my thing straight through his ear and just like mince its brain. Yeah, the, the, like you, you, you slide your North, North Kim needle. It goes through into one ear and comes out the other. And you just kind of swiss swirl it around a bit. Yeah. Like, swirly, swirly. I think it comes out and there's a chunk of brain on it. <laughs> there you go. Got one, sir! Ah! I, I, I think I'm doing quite well, sir! Brilliant! Well uh, done, guardsman! Yes! And, Be vigilant! And yes. finally... Oh, no, sorry, not finally. Next is uh, Sergeant Gruninger. Uh, can I take a... You can totally take a shot at the last card. Okay, I would like to shoot the orc currently engaging um, Corporal Carter. Uh, yeah. See, seeing as the orc rolled so badly, I'm going to say he's not technically in melee with you either, so you don't need to take a minus for shooting into melee. Cool. What's the range? Uh, it'll be short. Okay. Um, half action aim, aim I imagine. Or uh, can I take a half aim and like... You can, you can take a half aim, yeah. Cool. And since I like to play it risky, I'm going to go for another semi-auto, just in case. Alrighty. Yeah. One day these dice have got to come. Yeah! Mmm. Uh, you, you hit, you hit See, twice. We got all the shit should we got all the shit rolls out of the way at the start of the year? Two, two damage, please. <laughs> oh, right oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you, you, you ripple off a couple of shots. Um, again, like, your style of shooting is very methodical. So it's not like, you know, like a burst. It's like one shot, one shot, one shot. One misses, kind of flies over his head. The other two, like, kind of stagger him a little bit, hit him in the chest. Looks like it does a little bit to him. Um, but as you guys are starting to realize, las guns are really reliable, but they don't do much, like, yeah, they don't do that much talks, apparently. Uh, hmm. Which means that next up is Captain Ravensburg. Ah! I'm gonna charge it. Go charge get him, sir! It. Go get him! You can do it. Um, and you know what? I'm really tempted to go all out attack. <laughs> go I for mean... it! Oh no! Just do it! Glory lasts forever. You hear from very far away a gurgle. You can do it, sir. <laughs> What's the worst that could possibly happen, sir? That's the char charge takes up your full action, so there is no aim you can add to it. That's why it's higher. Yeah. So, char uh, there's no point me doing all that out. My charge isn't all out anyway. Effectively, the pluses, so that, like I don't get any bonus from all out. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a charge. Okay. Um, and uh, double but teaming with Benson's character. You can only <laughs> you can only charge yeah. once when you go into into combat, whereas all out, you can do every turn in melee. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Uh, uh, I and will... also, you don't get the double team, because they're not in melee. I said that for... Oh, good point, yeah. Okay, so no double team. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Eight degrees of success! I rolled that's a three! A three. Oh. <laughs> uh, take, a, <laughs> take a fate point, Captain Ravensburg. <laughs> So this fortune is very good at, at killing things. Why are you really all so good in melee? Like... No, we're shit at command. Yeah. 100, 198? Yeah. yeah. But killing things? Three. No, mm. it's not just killing. It's the second you go into melee, you roll fucking crits. <laughs> I told you, we're a melee brigade. They just assigned us wrong, right? <laughs> you, you should be in the breath we're of the We're still trooper command. I, you should. I should have been firing knives out of a gun. Yeah, you, sh you should be in the breath of the <laughs> Emperor yeah, right. regiment. I, 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 That's where I you killed, belong. I killed an orc <laughs> with a pointy stick. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I god, that's so damage much damage! Guy. So I'm gonna, my first hit, I'm just gonna go down, like, slide, like, both knees bend to the ground, and I slide in the mud, and the first punch takes out one knee, then yeah. on the way back, I smash in the other knee, the orc comes down, I smash it in the stomach, and as the head comes down, I then just bring up the power fist and just take its head off. And it, it's its entire Bravo, head Bravo. just explodes. And then because I've got my sword left, I'm just going to go... <laughs> done. <laughs> just mince it. It's yeah. all—it's already done. You make sure it's done. <laughs> um, so... 
23, 21, 19, and 22 all armor penetration. I actually rolled really well for damage as well. Yeah. So, oh my you God. survey the scene. You have confirmed kills of orcs. You have made it to the bunker. You have unfortunately lost two men making it here. Your Vox operator is still here. Your runner is still here. As you look up and down the trench, you see similar scenes of combat going on. Let me just... Uh... Hmm. Yeah? Eh. Okay. Uh. Um, they are going... On your left flank, face, facing your, like, your the way you're going to be advancing, the way you're attacking. On your left flank, things are going decently. They seem to have taken less losses than you have in the center. On your right flank, things are going slightly worse. They've taken more damage. They haven't taken control of their section of the trenches yet. Uh, another set of uh, drop ships are coming in more troops are coming out more troops are cresting the hill the the crate the tip of the crater at the same time you turn around and look in front of you and you see a, probably about maybe a minute sprint forwards another line of trenches at the base of the hills and this one is bristling with orcs And behind that, you see a couple of short, kind of marching up and down the, the trenches. You see a couple of kind of short, compact cans on arms and legs. Oh. With like, oh. like one of them has big kind of scissor-like claw. And then this, this kind of like, you know, strange machine gun type thing on the other side. The other one... It's a little further away down down the left flank ways. Uh, you can't see exactly what it's equipped with. And as your kind of victory cheer goes up, it is drowned out by multiple loud bangs from behind this trench. And you hear shouts of, Incoming! And let's end there for today. Yay! Sure would be nice if you had a. I was gonna say, special <laughs> battle this... pass. Uh... Oh shit! This is this that's happening. I imagine that I see like the top of the mountain in the distance, and I'm like, the mountain. I must go there. Yeah. <laughs> Holding on to the standard. So that that mountain, uh, and uh, I'll I'll say this as well, just uh, for a little bit of extra. You can see the 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 gun on the mountain clearly now. It hasn't started firing yet. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I'm peacing out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, need your so, rocket launcher at your feet. We need it so, for reasons. <laughs> Genrin, you've taken a serious hit. You are out of action for a while. Uh, because you're not here the next week, that means you don't need to create a new character. Um, I'm gonna say, in all honesty, I didn't plan to take Genrin out. It just ha it just happened. <laughs> that sniper shot would have taken me out, and I'm the yeah. toughest one here. And yeah. I had carabase. That that was literally just a a strong hit, and unfortunately, it was a sniper who was you know. Oh no no! Yeah, I am it... fine with this. Genrin went out like a fucking boss. Yeah. It's not dead. He's and he's he's not dead. Like if if you come back with a metal voice box and be like, "Hey guys, how you doing? If, I'm back." If if you would if you would like to come back in the future with this squad or you know in another instance, you can come back as Genrin. You can roll a new character and come back again. Um, it's it's up to you. But yeah, um, wow, that didn't go as badly as I thought it was going to. We've made Bradley proud. I, like, Honest... I was just expecting door opens, everyone dies. On honestly, yeah, it almost happened. If you'd have allowed them to open it early, because they were basically wanting to hover and open yeah, it. Yeah, so just have the door open, literally touch yeah. ground, everyone goes back up. Yeah, I was like, are there small arms? This is a bad idea. No. <laughs> Thank fuck you're sensible. We, we would we would have died while still basically in orbit if that if 
Uh, we had re-rolled the motivation Frag thing. Frag grenades probably from... wouldn't have gone through the hull, but it would have killed like a lot of people in the lower decks. Yeah, there would, would have been a lot of blood I mean, and guts in honestly, the middle of the craft. If you hadn't have re-rolled that, uh, the command and everything, it, it, like, it would have... I think you were in atmosphere at that point, so you wouldn't have all died. But someone would have pulled a frag grenade and like blown a hole and killed the majority of your company. That would have made for a fun charge. Yeah, all the guns are aimed at you for some reason. We'd have waited until the second company got there, but yeah. it would be really awkward. Yeah. Like, hi. And why let one grenade do all the killing when you can form up and march over a over a ridge? <laughs> I mean, exactly. Yeah. Well, it was good enough. Her grenade. It's good enough for World War One. It's good enough for the Imperial Guard. Roll, roll better. Like you said, you said march up there, lads, and you rolled badly on your command. So that's what they did. They just marched up there. <laughs> um, I will tell you this: you've lost probably half of your company so far. To be fair, mm. for the first wave, that's, that's good. pretty good. Yeah, uh, for, the, for the first yeah. and, and second wave. What, what's it called? The um, from the Napoleonic times when they had a breach in the enemy castle, like they sent in the the first brigade. Of... Uh, it was the, oh, the, the... the people who went through the hole. Oh, lost, lost breath. Else? Or no, I can't remember. It's not that. It's yeah, um. um... It's I'm like not, something uh, glory or something like this. It's got this really nice name. It's yeah. like, no, 90% of people who went in the first wave died yeah. every glory time. There, there's like a special name for the people who went in first on, on Fucking sieges. idiots? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, that's you guys. You know, you guys decided to go in first. But, uh, um... But we have melee characters. How else are we supposed to get in range? Oh, and we have people who roll threes in melee. I yeah. don't have a what? melee character. I literally, I put most of my points into fucking intellectual shit. I am the fucking skinny nerd medic. Yes. You still meleeed an orc to death, though. You, 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 signed, you signed up for war, and then specifically <laughs> made an intellectual character with not that much combat, combat skills, so, you know. Don't matter, killed an orc. Um, I can die happy now. Yeah, you did. Oh, that, that, was, that was very cool. But, um, no, uh, the first couple of waves, you've lost... I'd say the first wave have lost about 60%. The second wave has probably lost about 50%. Um, the third and fourth waves are coming, but the thing is, is that big gun hasn't fired yet. Yeah, they're gonna wait till everyone's in the caldera and then fire the gun. Mm hmm Which means, like, honestly, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but you guys have done the easy part. Yeah, we've protected right. that hill. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. We're gonna I... get that standard on top of the like... mountain. God damn it. I, I'm I'm not looking to kill you, but we've but taken out are. well, like one character's <laughs> been taken out, and I wasn't planning specifically for anyone to get taken out this episode. So it might well happen. Yeah. Ne We're next 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 problems. episode is actually like taking the hills and taking that mountain to plant the flag. Gonna plant it, damn it. It, they're very they're very heavily entrenched and for, for those of you watching and all, all this fall on hope that's what it is yeah. thank you yeah um for those of you watching and and hopefully enjoying this first episode um they're fighting death skulls which means they have heavy machine gun emplacements and the uh, um i can't remember what it's called you haven't actually been hit by a um death gun yet no because we'd be dead yeah, a de <laughs> the the def gun does the, name. the def gun does three d ten plus three, uh, and you 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 drop Oof. the lowest. Um, it's really nasty. Uh, so why aren't we de why aren't we nuking it from orbit? <laughs> uh, because it's not um, it's not the planet's not valuable enough for a uh, external artist. If I'm lucky, I could survive there, one there, shot from a def gun. There was there was a um. There was a bombing run that happened before you guys dropped, but the Death Skull the Death Skulls are entrenched, which means they went into their tunnels, they went on you know under their like bunkers and stuff. Oh god, yeah, you guys haven't even got to the bunkers yet. Yeah, which is They're... why they've got no heavy armor because that would have been destroyed in the attack. So they've yeah. got troops and light stuff. Yeah, they got troops and they got bunkers and they got they got uh, kind of fixed gun emplacements. Uh, they do have a couple of other things which you heard about. Uh, clanking around the battleground, which yep. they're they're not they're not big they're not so big that they can't fit down the tunnels. So oh good good that's okay. why I, I really wish I could have fired a crack rocket at yeah Just I was funny. really like hoping we, that we really wish you could have fired a crack rocket <laughs> yeah. ten plus eight yeah penetration yeah. eight 
Yep. I, I really wish we'd had the rocket launch. If you'd have died in the trench, it would have been useful. Go back yeah. and get it. Yeah, we could probably go back and get it, right? No! I will use it. Mm. Uh, tell you what. Uh, Josh, because Josh. Uh, and you're not here next week. Roll me a D100. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> have other specialists died in the trench with you that you can nick their shit? 45. I think this is going to be a 50-50, so this is a success. Uh, 1.5 <laughs> degrees of success. Oh, wait. 0. 0.5 Point degrees five. of success. Yeah. Uh, someone in the second wave picked up the rocket launcher. Oh, good. But Thanks. doesn't have the rockets because Fuzzy's got them in the trench, so they have to come looking for us, and we were like, nope, thank you. Oh, no, I ditched, I ditched the rockets. When ditched just the, the rockets, trench, just though. at the edge of the trench. Oh, yeah, okay. so they'll come to us anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so I'm just going to make a note uh, of... Second wave has rocket launcher. If they make it, great. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> you may have to run back to get the rocket launcher. Um, It'd be a bit closer. Yes. So, uh, if my do I still have mods here? I assume I do. So, if my mods could chuck down the links for everyone here, uh, for people watching the YouTube video, links in the description. Go give everyone a, a huge hearty follow. Uh, I'm not used to having people watching. What do you do when people what do you like raid or something? <laughs> Can do. What do you? Yeah. Do? I'm a YouTube streamer. I've got no idea. Yeah, I guess you wag. <laughs> yeah, let, let's you, uh, take the let's go let's go kick somebody's door in and steal. Um, let's invade some other shit. Yeah. Yay. I I don't know who to give love to. Uh, let's have a look. Does anyone want to give me a suggestion, please? Because I don't have many people on my following list. I don't think anyone I'm following is currently streaming. Um, Let's have a look at the roll for it Discord. Taylor. Random Tuesday is streaming. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. He nice. Uh, he so, guys. Um, <laughs> like, who the hell is this? <laughs> He's never met you, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> and plus, you know, it's Daddy Sheep Do, which who doesn't want to get yeah, raided? It's gonna be by great. She's gonna be like, Daddy what? Um, so yes, guys. Uh, uh, other links will be in the description for like the Patreon and things like that. One thing that is important for everyone to know is I am doing viewer games as well for this in the future, probably starting around June, July time. We, I'll be more clear about it. Uh, you can contribute. Uh, there will be a link for that. It's $20 for two games. You can sign up as a group, all this kind of thing. Uh, I'd love to have you guys playing Imperial Guards. And uh, it will be live streamed and stuff, but it's at different times. Um, next week, we're going to be back with the same cast. Uh, the week after that, we'll have a new cast in. Um, aside from that, I'm going to say thank you very much. Join me on this raid. Uh, check out the video if you didn't catch all of it. And if you're watching the video, hey, Hello. what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I ah. killed an orc with a big pointy stick thing. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, Bye. 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 Bye.